Welcome everyone to episode 27 of the Smobcast. So we've had a bit of a, a bit of a weekend here. So we, we just came out of this caster tier list yesterday, the, the one that Miss made. And uh, that, that ended up being at like an eight and a half hour endeavor. So that's why we're doing this on Monday instead of Sunday. But we've got, we got some, uh, some interesting things that came out because of that. Uh, we got some interesting things to talk about uh, because like for those who don't know like uh, Go over to the part where we discuss Ilya. I uh, I, 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 I freaking lose it, bro uh, But yeah, we got plushie here as usual Hi There he is. Yeah, there it is But uh, but the first thing first thing we're gonna be uh, looking at we're gonna be like uh, Just looking at the tier list and looking in hindsight like okay uh, what did we win with? What did we not win with? Uh, um, so, I'm going to pull yeah. that up in Photoshop in just a second. Okay, there we go. So, I, I um, uh, as usual, like, I, I'm not super invested on, like, every single individual placement like if something is a versus b plus i'm not too hurt on it it's more so just relative of, to those that they compare most directly to that that, mat that matters to me yeah here it is so as usual we got castoria at the very top the tippy top here because uh, yeah like she yeah, she's the best thing ever, of course. Um, uh, but well, she, what are you upset that you couldn't get changed? I I already know. Uh, I already what am know, I? Like, what am know. I upset? I mean, okay, look, I I keep saying I'm upset that Yui isn't EX plus, but I kind of understand why. You know, rainbows people are like not. Yeah, uh, people are like, hey, you know, rainbows are hard to get. I, I, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. You know, I have run into situations where when I'm TAing, I can't really get a way to get the rainbow. So I eventually cut her uh, out of the equation. There, there, it has, you know, that has happened. So I understand she has her weaknesses. Um, but I just feel like maybe, maybe I am con taking rarity into consideration because I think, you know, for a four star to achieve something like this is. Like, on average, it's cheaper. You know, it's cheaper than an SSR, on average. On I said on average. <laughs> but, like, you know, it, it's good good value for the cost, almost. Like, like I, I a, a very big argument I had for Yui is, like, it, it's great value for the cost. You know? It, it's not like, you know, you, you have to pull for an SSR uh, in order to achieve this kind of numbers. And y if, you, if, you see, if you follow my Twitter, you know I have no bias towards this character like, at all. <laughs> Like, I, I did not like this character. It's not because I don't like her. It's because I really wanted Tamamo Aria. And Tamamo Aria was obviously not in the game. And I, w I was blaming on this guy. I was like, dude, who, why would you why would you add this character in over Aria? Right? So, yeah. I mean, I should already be glad that she's EX. Uh, So, I mean, I'm not too upset. But, yeah. Like, I, I, I did not like her at all like I, I made a tweet basically crapping on her uh calling her a mid character and a horrible pick for the collab and like when she came out i just shut up because she's good she is so good she's absolutely insane right so like she can even handle the normie stuff she has 20 charge 30 percent mp damage up and 30 percent arts up like if you if you want to use her as like a budget usually it's not really budget it's like if your castor is already bond 15 you want to substitute you can right like she can work so I, I i think she is just such a great character for the four star cost that i really want to put her high but i understand why she's not in ex yeah yeah i mean personally yeah i i, I was not sold on the ex plus like i um like from a personal perspective, I'm not sure if I'd put her in EX, but like again, we got different rules here for uh, for what my standards are. Because like like a, a lot of the ways that I evaluate performance of someone, uh, I evaluate them with or without 
the meta supports, whereas this this list it's exclusively with. Yeah. So, uh, and if you don't have access to someone like Summer Scotty, she is so much not as good. Uh, I, I think that's uh, very much worth presenting because at that point she's only going to be useful. Like, and by only useful, I mean she's going. You're only going to be seeing the best of her. Uh, I fucked up my login streak again. Damn it. Uh, you're only going to be seeing the best of her with Buster Quick Servants. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a. That being said, there are a lot of Quick Servants these days that have Buster Quick Bus. I think there's. I think there's. Like I think 20. two is enough though. Like two buffs from the MP is not bad. Yeah, but the thing is, like, how do you get this quick buffs or this buster buffs? Um, because oh, the, often... does the servant himself not have it? Well, have one. Well, the thing is, usually if you're supporting like an art servant, they'll have their arts buffs. They usually don't have quicker buster buffs. Uh, yeah, and I, then I, I, I you did, reasonably I... wouldn't bring another uh, servant to enable those buffs because they, unless you're using Yui specifically. They don't get anything out of that. So the thing is, like, you're sacrificing a support slot that is more dedicated to their card type uh, just so you can get some other buffs that probably are I mean, not yeah, as but, like, you can use Ruler Da Vinci. I, I genuinely think that is a worth, worthy combo sometimes. And yeah, maybe. Um, like, I, let, again, I, I, like, I understand. I, I mean, her buff values are kind of low, you know? Like, a Ruler Da Vinci? Yeah, yeah but, like, Yui makes up for it, you know? Like, if you're not considering okay, meta but, supports, like, but, what are you using? What are you even using? Like, cast well, skill? You could be, like, using low rarity supports. Like, uh, and there's a lot of people who do that. And to be fair, the people who, but, okay, okay, so, the people who exclusively do that are... That the, they're challenging themselves, so... Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. Yeah. My, my, my thing with that is... You're, you're saying her buff values... Uh, you're saying you're gibbing yourself by using rule of da vinci right because her buff values aren't that great but like what non-meta supports have way greater buff values than rule of da vinci there's a lot actually but and the often, thing is what so oftentimes you're you're more so looking for uh, for burst value with because like if like unless you already have good np damage at base like you're you're going to uh, you're going to be wanting to go for some of those more bursty supports, like maybe Chen yeah. Yong, or uh, yeah. probably not. I already made a case against Mozart, so like, uh, yeah. It, so like double Chen Gong on Berserkers, a double Chen Gong on a Buster Berserker versus Da Vinci Ruler plus Yui on a Buster Berserker. I don't really think a double Chen Gong has more damage. Like for one turn, maybe. Okay, okay. To be fair, you're you're discounting the the crit buff too. This Chen Gong. I'm not discounting get... the crit buff. It's a, it's a, well, it's 200 for one turn. Yui is 50 for three turns. What makes you think that you need all of that for one turn? Okay, so let, let, you can let's split, just split it to two it separate then. turns. Oh, okay, so it's 100 for two turns versus 50 for three turns. I don't think that's that big a difference. And, and Yui gets the attack up and. And MP damage. Up. I I don't I don't think that's that different. Okay, I really don't think that's that different. Myself with this. Um, okay. So there are other things that make him valuable. Okay, like it, she doesn't really have a lot defensively. I would say she doesn't she has, have. She has like, one she, of the biggest heals in the game. On on MP. She has a three K heal. Yeah, that is one of the biggest AoE heals in the game. Only losing to it's, Madea it's only 3K, literally. Three K for a Berserker is not much. Um, Just Berserker. Okay, so like in every other case, she's she's better than. I, I again like I I'd prefer to have the taunts because like I can just bring some other servant to um, to do some sort of healing. Like it, she is not that good at healing like she, she you don't from, have to frontline so, her so from my yeah but from my experience it can be a bit hard to get her 
NP more than once. And I know that sounds weird because like, okay, you got her second skill, you got her third skill. Uh, oftentimes I'll want to use the second or third skill to get her NP the first time. And even then, like, the type of support she gives, she's, uh, she does a lot of crit support, so oftentimes I'm not picking her cards to begin with. I mean, one UEMP is better than whatever you cooked up earlier. You also have to realize that sometimes, like, it's good to not need to pick a support NP at times. Uh, that's one thing I really like about Chen Gong, you just... Like, you can go for that big damage, and you don't have to worry about him getting a support NP. Uh, that's why I like using him over... So, so you can example. use, like, all three cards, I assume. Yeah, you can also... Yeah, you, you can... Uh, but her buff lasts three turns. So after the first time, you get two turns of cards. Okay, what makes you think that I'm going to have that many turns of NPs. Uh, th I think that's another thing to bring up. Like, she does... What, what? She puts a lot of her apples into the NP basket. Because, yeah, you do have 50% NP damage for three turns, but if we're talking about a Buster Berserker, they're probably NPing once in those three turns. Okay, so... You don't... I mean, okay. So, okay, Yui is worse on Buster Berserkers than Chengong and better on anything else. Okay. So I still okay, win. but then, um, okay, with arts, okay, I guess it does make more sense for it to be with arts because it also yeah, makes more the, sense. Like it, it makes more sense with uh, um, with Da Vinci as well because she has a lot of NP gain support. Yeah, so I, that does. I make mean, sense. I, I understand her weakness. Like, I, I I made a whole video on her. I, I I talked about how her weakness is if you don't have the rainbow buff, her MP is just dog shit. Her MP is a heal. Right? Her MP does nothing if you don't have the rainbow buff. But I genuinely believe it's enough. Like, that drawback is, like, not bad enough. You know, like, you can also bring, for example, multiple supports that buff cards. So may maybe m maybe your, your first... You don't have to bring Rule of Da Vinci. You don't have to get all three buffs. Like, like what, what if you, for example, you, you bring Chen Gong, right? You, you bring Chen Gong, you have Yui, and then... Your DPS gets the MP damage up and the crit up from the Buster and the Arts. And then, you know, after Chen Gong does his thing and then he dies off, you know, you cycle up another card buffer that can give her another thing and not give your DPS another thing. And now her MP is not completely void. So, like, you don't really have it, it, it's not just, oh, I combo her with Ruler Da Vinci and you get three turns of buffs. And then after that, it's over. No, it, it's not that. You can easily spread out the card type buffs that you bring in your team to combo with her if you want her MP to do more than nothing or like not just once, right? So like I like her team building, it requires team building knowledge. It's not I can just bring her and she'd be good no matter what. Yeah, but I think, I, I, I think I a think big part of it is just I don't like that I have to bring other supports to enable the support. I generally prefer to just have a support that doesn't have to deal doesn't have to depend on another support to do their thing. Okay, I understand that point, but like so many supports have card type buffs though. Like most supports that you will be using have card type buffs anyways. Yeah, but some of them some of them are more like one turn based, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I, I really think it's down um, to how you play the game. Like it, it, if yeah. if you don't like that, if you don't man, like I hate the, that that's you, always the reason why we disagree yeah. on things. I mean that that's just how it is. Like if, if you don't like to rely on two supports to have synergy, then yeah, that. you you won't like her. Right? You won't like her if you if you don't like if if you like for for example uh, the the the, the biggest like the greatest situation to emphasize your point is all of my other supports are gone and it's just Yui left with my DPS and my DPS just happens to not have any card type buffs on him so now Yui is fucking useless like she's just complete trash like essentially I mean she she can still give you crit buffs from the art zone but then she will be a little bit lackluster. I actually don't think she's complete trash even without her MP like her skills are pretty good but like I understand that's fair right. Her skills is still 15 stars per turn, 20 charge, 30% MP damage up for three turns, but it has a seven turn cooldown, so I kind of understand, right? And it's 30% crit up still, 30% arts up still. As you said, everyone likes arts buffs, not just arts serving. But 
like I, I do understand your point like what if you're stranded with just yui and then her mp just does nothing yeah i i can't argue against that but like 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 look at look at all the other look, look at all the other situations right like i i, I think if you look at the major if you look at the positives then you know she's pretty she, she's still pretty good in most applicable situations and i feel like if a servant i i i guess the, the problem with yui is her weakness is very obvious like it's very obvious to point out her her weaknesses oh but what if you don't have card type buffs but like i i also think it's not a weakness that is difficult to work around at all uh it depends on your like sometimes your dps just eliminates that weakness for one sometimes your support choices just eliminate that weakness for one even without specific comboing and you know th and there's a lot of ways to fix it basically so i i personally think I understand why she's not EX plus, but I, I do think she at least should be EX. Like it, it, she's not that specific support reliant. Like the only time, you, like for example, why do I cut her from TAs uh, be, when I can't get Rainbow? Because in TAs, she's only worth using it most of the time if you get all three buffs, because you you want the maximum amount of burst damage from her in TAs. But like if you're not doing TAs, then I, I feel like even if you just get w like two effects on, on her MP, it's like pretty good because her skills are not trash, right? So that, at least that's how I see it. But I don't know. I I, I don't use her enough outside of TAs, I guess. So mm. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, just uh, I didn't even think about it until like uh, just a minute ago, but uh, I, I wouldn't use the double chain gong comparison because I, I never run double can at uh, double chain gong like on yeah that, that's dumb yeah. I, I I yeah that, uh, I, I just I it's generally come up better with to team. it's generally better to like mix it up like I I can put two on a team uh, I will do yeah. that sometimes yeah. but it's just like usually you want to do someone a Stargen first yeah so I understand. He, I mean, yeah, uh, he uh, he has like really solid burst support. It's just he doesn't he doesn't have things to help enable like the crits, for example. Like uh, uh, another thing with Yui is that if you're using multiple DPSs, she does actually buff all both of them. So that is like, true. so like, I guess it's, it's still hard to set up because like I he, here's the one weakness that actually you brought up uh, when it's actually really obvious, which is. Yes, her buffs are AoE, but if you are reliant on setting it up with another support, it might as well be single target, right? Like, uh, unless you plug someone yeah. out. So, like, like for example, I found a use for our bottom tier caster. <laughs> if, if you bring Shakespeare and you plug him out, that's MP damage up for both of your other teammates. Uh, if you plug in Yui, for example, right? So... So now the AOE Buster doesn't feel like that much of a waste, but that's kind of a stretch. But like I, I, I really think just the the raw amount of numbers that she can provide is is really good, and, and I think like sometimes the the game is just numbers, you know. Like I mean, the game is just numbers, but I mean like the game is like sometimes buff numbers. If you have enough buff numbers, it's just good enough. It doesn't necessarily have to have like you don't always need to have a support that is a Swiss Army knife to be good. In my opinion, that that's also what I disagreed with uh, Miss a little bit on why I didn't feel like Scotty needed a defensive buff on her yeah, because I, I feel like it's fine when she take. goes full. <laughs> like yeah, like this this like that's I've I've made a point of it a lot and like I, I sort of rambled on it like immediately after he said that, but um, but that's that just doesn't fit how quick is like works. Uh, yeah. People want quick to be arts, but yeah, quick, quick no, uh, quick is its own thing, and Buster wants to be quick. That's uh, that's what things are. That that's just uh, quick is always m going to be better in a more aggressive play style. Yeah, yeah. And like adding defense to cat uh, to Scotty, like no one, like he should know it himself. He doesn't care about her evade. Like, why does he... Why would he care about the defense buff? Like, he he doesn't see the, the evade as that valuable at all. Like, bro, it's an AoE evade. That's, it that's a whole... MP. Yeah. It's, it's a whole NP that you don't have to worry about. That's more than uh, fucking Vich's NP is. 
She doesn't get the same complaint. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I brought that up as well. Like, it, it, it's uh, yeah, very I guess telling, to be fair, though. He doesn't like using her, so. It 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 is it, very telling, though. Like, when when he says like he always puts he ninety nine percent of the time puts Castoria's MP after the DPS's MP. Like, it's very telling what kind of game he likes to play. Uh, like he he would like to take as little risk as possible uh, when doing CQs, which is fine. But that's also why I think Castoria is so fucking boring. Like, I, I think Castoria gameplay is the most dull when you always go for the safest route. And, like, you should be punished for overly passive gameplay, basically. Like, in any game, if you have overly passive gameplay, there is always a counter to it. Not, like, but, like, I mean, I know FGO is PvE, so, like, that's not that big of an issue. But, like, you know, for, for example, if, if you play, like, Pokemon competitive... If you have a stall team, then a wall breaker team will just fucking break you and then just kill your team. Like if you're overly passive, you just you just get broken by hyper offense, right? Oh, so dude, like, oh, dude, the, I, I'm sorry. I, I was just thinking of Clash of Clans when you said wall breakers because the, they're the, they're these little skeletons that uh, that like run up and bomb a wall and die they do nothing else it's just like a whole team of them are so fucking useless <laughs> i mean I, 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 are they yeah. supposed to be like anti-defense tools i mean i, I assume yeah. like like for yeah, example, the Clash original, of clans yeah the original you, game you is yeah you break them. down walls and then you attack their the things in yeah, the walls, yeah you steal so. the elixir i played a little bit of it but like that's so long ago yeah but yeah like same. like you should punish overly passive gameplay like 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 it's not always hyper aggro versus hyper defensive like the the problem the, my problem with castoria is basically um my problem with castoria is basically it, it's a it, it's overly defense play style with no counter and if if you want to counter it just kills every team period so like that's a that's bad design like you people get away with it people get away with not using their brain when they play the game because of castoria like they, they they don't have to use their actual brain you know like they they just play passive you never get punished if you play passive with castoria never and never which is bad because now everybody just they don't have to use their brain because they they have a optimal route every single time like like you should be punished half the time when you put your Castor mp after your dps mp but you actually never get punished like that is technically he's not wrong technically he's optimal you will never get punished for doing that so yeah. he just makes the game boring uh honestly it doesn't feel like that it's that great for content because like i don't know when it's horrible uh, no for offense, content no offense but when toho uploads a 45 minute clear of hokusai tamamo and castoria I, I never feel i feel even less motivation to click than usual it, it, it is horrible content like like i i mean i i understand the argument because i think uh, one of my friends who does tas uh told me that and Cadroth also had the same argument and they, they obviously didn't talk beforehand but like their argument was basically like people th people didn't care about cqs anyways so like people who didn't care about cqs would just continue not caring and people who care about cqs would just not use the boring comp so castoria is just an easy way out uh for people who didn't care about cqs um and to to some extent i agree like i, I understand like from even from the beginning not everybody wants to do cqs like people skip cqs all the time but i really feel like when clearing a cq is not as easy as it is these days at least people would ask. At, at, at least people would like try to ask uh, about like, oh, you know what, like, 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 how how do I do this? You know, th there's people in the middle ground, trapped between whether they want to do this or not. And like, if Castor didn't ex exist, they would try to seek out some kind of guy. Like, oh, how, how how do I clear this? You know, and then it gets the community talking about gameplay, right? Like right now, I don't even know why servant reviews exist, honestly. Honestly, I, I don't I don't know why servant reviews exist because what's the point? Like why why would you ever review a servant when the only gameplay you care about is farming and spamming Castoria with Arts DPS? Like why why do you why would you ever watch a servant review? Like to to most people, Andromeda 
and Hui and Zhuo are like the same fucking servant. Mm. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, fundamentally, they play so different, but because in farming, they're both quick AoEs with 30 battery, they're the same servant. So, like, what, what even... Like, servant reviews should just be deleted from the platform. S servant reviews should, should just, like, not exist on YouTube at this point. Because, like, nobody cares. Everybody just cares about how they farm. Like, like... The only servant... Like, I don't even know why people care about Draco's defense. Like, people are like, oh my god, Draco's class is so broken. It is defensive class advantage. You spam Kessler MP anyways. She might as well be a Berserker and she'd be a better servant for you. So, like, why? Like, why even make servant reviews? I I, I think, like, it's pointless. Like, Castoria made servants to play the fucking same. There's no point. There's no point. There's pointless. Like, so, there's no po so, are you planning on doing a Constantine hot take then? <laughs> I don't know. Constantine might as well not be in the game. Yeah. Like, it's not because she's bad. he's bad, but because he can't farm. Like... Constant, like I don't know why people even hype up Super Orion and 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 uh, and Qin Shi Huang. N none of these servants are in the game. Qin Shi Huang is not in the game. Super Orion's not in the game because they don't farm, right? Like oh my god, Super Orion's so broken. When 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 the video comes out and he does like three million crits, ninety nine percent of people don't give a flying fuck. Like people only care about hey, it because it hey. looks cool. Uh, of course, of course not. Crit damage is not reliable. Yeah, super rank of, I know, elite comps, right? I, I know, I know. But, like, it's it's not that easy anymore with 90++, plus plus, you know? Like, it's not that easy to get away with it. I love the, the, the thing is, I, I just think Castoria, I want to blame it on Castoria. Because other than blaming Castoria, who, the, who else can I blame? Who else can I blame on the absolute apathetic attitude towards gameplay? Like, oh no, you know, who cares about Andromeda's taunt and, and like, oh, it, it's actually interesting. You know, the skill seal allows all the enemies to attack and do her and then she gets the crit over there. Oh, she's just a AoE quick with 30 battery and she doesn't loop well. Uh, like. Okay. Blame ZT. Why? It's not Bro, him. He has no influence. He gets it's like... No, I, I'm not, not gonna start him. digging no, into this. No, he, he does actually game. get views. And it's not him, by the way. Like, he does do CQ content. He's, like, it's not him. He is not the most popular uh, reviewer out there. It's not him. It's the entire community. It's Castoria. Yeah. I either blame the community or I blame Castoria. I should blame the community, but I can't because it's the community. So, who enabled the community to be this way? Fucking Castoria. She's the issue, right? Like, like I, I understand their standpoint, like I brought up before. You know, there are going to be people that never cares about TA. But I want to believe there were a group of people that did care about CQs and clears and guides. And they just got spoiled by Castoria and they became apathetic as fuck towards it. Dude, dude, that's, that's one of the things that kind of, like... It's kind of grating on me about doing this tier list. Like, I have to just go so far against things that I care about just to judge shit. Like, I'll bring my perspective, but my perspective doesn't matter most of the time because it's yeah. like... Well, well, I mean, there's no nuance with art servants. It's just like, do they have yeah. good damage? Because yeah. Castoria makes up for every problem they have. Yeah. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, why even talk about art servants, honestly? Exactly, exactly. Like, like uh, honestly, uh, it, tier list is the same as uh, servant reviews. It's pointless. It's really pointless. It's at the end of the day, pointless, because people read these servants' kits as if they're seeing it for the first time, because they never use them in a way that they're like their unique uniqueness. Right? Okay. So, like, yeah. even if I... Oh, like, for, for a lot of the people, for example, I love Daikokuten. I'm just making an example. I love Daikokuten. I, I love her so much. I want to eat her. And for, for most players, I'd say. for I want to eat her. She's so great. And then you ask them, uh, what's, what, what's her skills? They can't answer you. They literally cannot tell you what their skill is. They can tell you she's anti-Earth and she refunds a lot. That's it. That's that's the only thing they can tell you about her, right? Like, 
Yeah, and I know like all of the servants out there. Like I, I actually have an unhealthy amount of these kits memorized. I could actually probably name all three skills of like all of these. Yeah, servants. but people, but most people don't because they don't care. They don't care about anything else that ha that that has no impact in farming. It's so dumb. Like, 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 it, it, it's just the game. The game has been dulled down. Flex for no reason. The game has been dulled down to a point that when you want it to be cool, you can. But 99% of people don't give a shit, right? Like, like, look at Locusta. I, I'm not promoing my, my video, by the way. I stole that video idea from a Japanese YouTuber because he also did that solo. I just wanted to do that ah, solo. Shilling stolen cool. content. Got it. So, <laughs> so, so, like, Locusta has poison heal. It's so cool. If the opponent has poison, she doesn't die because her poison heal is, isn't even like she heals 500 HP from each poison stacks. No, it converts the poison damage to her heals. So if if there's a CQ where the gimmick is you get like 20,000 poison damage every turn, she heals for 20,000 every turn. So so like, oh, that's so cool. But that but nobody cares because because she because, oh, it's hard to stack poison stacks in Barbie. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't know. I, I, I think the game has become so dull for like how most people play it. That, that is why people say FGO's gameplay is bad. You, ha, have you, have you heard of this? Have you heard of this term from the community? Perhaps FGO's gameplay is ninety nine percent farming, and it's boring as fuck. FGO gameplay is bad. Yeah, there's, there's one commenter in your, uh, like on all of your videos that is very obstinate about that. So, so, do you know why FGO gameplay is bad? Because of Castoria. That is a, that is a huge leap of, of, of logic. But do you know why FGO gameplay is bad? It's because there's not, there's not enough incentive for CQs. I think the first thing they should do is they should cut the shop in half and lock half of that shit behind the CQ. And people are gonna cry about, Oh no, I can't clear the CQ, uh, but I want the lore. Then cleared the cq you pussy all right just clear the cq what is wrong with you like why would you pull for us like oh no just, uh, just just clear it it's not hard it's not that hard it, this thing exists it's literally a wimp on you know how many fucking like revive cubes they give it no no so so like there's no incentive to cqs and the tiny bit of, of opportunity when you get to use you get get to do a cq this thing invalidates any team building at all. You don't need to have any brain to build a Castoria team, right? Like you, 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 you give Helen Keller fake grand order, she'll make you a Castoria team in three seconds, right? Like there, there's no point. Revive Qs aren't for CQs. I understand that. I know that's main stories. People skip CQs anyway. Who cares about lores? Like why would you care about lores if you don't care about like gameplay, right? Like. Uh. Yeah, but yeah, so. I mean the, the 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 game is just so dumbed down. There's absolutely and like like like, I know some people hate CQs, right? I understand. So so like like maybe you separate the the lotto from the CQ, so people don't hate Tesla Fest. People shouldn't hate Tesla Fest because yeah, there's no Tesla reason Fest... to anyways. You could just um, and ignore all of the CQs. There's only like two. Or three of them that give you yeah anyways. but as i've said people are gonna cry about oh no i'm missing five tickets for 15 mana prisms ah like, bro. Uh, so no just... like <laughs> we came up with a great solution that everybody's gonna kill me for it but i think lasengo absolutely needs to do this they should lock every fucking costume behind a cq bro Oh, you want your servant to look cool? Learn how to use them first. Huh? Isn't that fair? That's fair. That is what... That's fair. You know? Damn, bro. Like, you're asking so much people. I'm not a monster. But this is just fair. This is... It's fair. I'm not being cruel here. It's, it's fair. I'm just ahead of the curve. I'm joking. Uh, but like... I don't know, man. Yeah, there, there needs to be more. There needs to be more incentive for CQs, so yeah. people understand how the game plays outside of farming, so they can stop saying the game is boring. 
Because it's not if you learn if you like play it. Dude. If you like if you like think about how to build fun teams, but there's no incentive to build fun teams. That's why the game's boring. Dude, that's that's something I just don't get with a lot of people. Like there's a lot of people who they they complain about the game being boring all the time and then they don't like challenge quests. Like why are you playing the game? Do you like farming? No, obviously not. You 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 think it's boring. I, I, I think it's just sunk cost or something. Like they like the characters. It's sunk cost. I, I think I also oh, think this is why like, dude, they need to like you don't have to spend money to get these characters to appreciate them. You can just go fucking jerk off the it's hentai different. all you fucking want. It's all right, different. that that is enough appreciation. That is more joy than you're gonna get out of this fucking game. Uh, this the way is you why. Play it, all right. I have two more proposals for this. So the first proposal is the easy way. Just make better main story boss. Because main story is something people don't skip. So if you make main story bosses, you make more things like Sir Nunos. You get people talking. People are still talking about Sir Nunos. Do you know how old Sir Nunos is? Dude, that, that man's been that man's like years ago. That man happened years ago. Replay story. Here's the thing with replay story. It's really good for content creators. I don't think 90% of the player base actually would care. Dude, when Super Recollections came back, they wouldn't even do that. So why why would they do story replay? But anyways, like people still talk about the memories of beating Sir Nunos. Remember back in the day on NA, people like remember like oh my god that King Hassan CQ is so bullshit. It's fond memories. It's fond memories with like, oh my god, but but like I finally get to beat it because I use, you know, Iris Feel or because I used, you know, uh, Scotty Caster's MP for the anti insta death or or because I used the uh the Ryogi uh not Ryogi, the um the K and K C E that has 80% anti death. That's a super niche CE, but Oh wow, you know, I remember that. I remember, I remember all of the CQs. I remember, like, that's why people remember all the early day EQs, because they actually struggled to beat it. And when they finally beat it, it's 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 so it's so exhilarating. That doesn't exist in the game anymore. None of that exists in this game anymore. Can you remember any recent CQs? Dude, no. quests. Challenge quests are either too easy to cheese now, or they're too hard for people to enjoy. Like, it, it, there's yeah. no in-between. And do you know whose fault that is? It's Castoria's fault. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow, what a fucking surprise, right? So, like... There shouldn't like, be one servant that can... that can be your end-all be-all solution to both challenge quests and farming. That, that is a really stupid notion. I know people like getting bang for their buck and all but it, it just it, it's just stupid because that means scott that means castoria is uh she is making cost uh, cost uh, Sc caster scotty and caster merlin they're fucking useless because they they both they're both more geared towards either farming or challenge quests whereas she does both yeah. of them better than both of them so yeah. uh, why like, also, like, do, do you know why people TA? For fun? Yeah. For accomplishment? Feeling yeah. of accomplishment. No. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Do, do you know why we need that? We we used to not need that. Yeah. Do, you, do you know why we, why we need to chase that, like, extra bit of high? Because normal clears are dog shit, bruh. Oh, I cleared this CQ. It means nothing. I cleared this CQ in four turns. Wow, that actually means something. Holy shit. I can I have feel I can feel. I have I can feel now. I can feel that I'm playing the game. Like my god. Like we have to come up with this whole outside of game third party competition to make the game feel oh my god, I'm playing the game. Yeah. TA brain rot? No! That's called trying to find joy in FGO. Whoever you call TA brain rot is the only one that doesn't have brain rot. Unbelievable. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Well.
Well, this man had a lot to say. Uh, I would like to point out, though, that this, uh, this tier list has the weakest jaw of any tier list that I've seen. Uh, because, like, you, like, look right here. He's got... This is, like, the nose. This is the mouth. And then it's got a fucking leafy jaw right here. I love... I love looking at the the tier lists and seeing if I could see like a funny face on them. Yeah, he looks like a Simpsons character, but with an even worse uh, jawline. Looks like fucking Cletus or whatever. I don't know the I don't know the Simpsons very well. Looks like Gru. Hi, I was pointing out the uh, the terrible jawline on this <laughs> this tier list. Yeah, this is so funny. But yeah, I, I'm sorry. I just That's I fun. took an hour this... out of your stream for this. But like, Bro, this is content. <laughs> I, I'm I'm so upset because like people call TA people as if they're some kind of brain rot. Like like you know, oh my god, you only care about TAs. You only care about you know the one aspect of the game. You you know you know TA is like one of the. I'm not gonna say the most, but like you know TA is one of the. One of the aspects of the game that explores the potential of the servants the most. Like, yeah. you have to push the push a servant to their maximum. You have to understand what they can do. You can push that it's it's it I, I keep bringing up the Rama thing. Like, why does why is Rama one of the own two servants that could beat that challenge quest, Minturn? Because people found value in his crit buff being a four-turn cooldown. Because people absolutely explored Rama's kit to its complete, most, like, extreme. To finally find, oh shit, there's a thing that he can do better than other people. And then he did it. That's why it's fun. Because when you explore a servant to their absolute maximum potential you will find something interesting and then you will see them do something crazy that you never expect them to do that's why it's fun i mean it is a lot focused on hyper offense obviously so i'm not saying it covers all of the servants but like then you know you look at solo solo is kind of like another thing right a servant's ability to self-sustain on their own or you know it depends on routing. I'm not that good at solos. I'm I'm usually exploiting solo servants that are already good. But like, like it, it, there's just different aspects of the game that you, you you can explore a servant even more when you put them under different situations rather than just standard double meta support. And it's fun. It's fun. You know, it's just one way to have more fun with the game, and not just farming. So like, I really don't like people who. At, on one hand are so focused on farming performance and they just look at the looping sheet they don't even have to own the servant like why do you even have to roll the servant you can just look at the looping sheet and jerk off right like i don't understand oh my god melusine does the most uh buster aoe damage on the third wave oh yeah that's it oh that, boy that's oh boy that uh, that's a yeah. that's a whole conversation i've i've had over the last few days yeah, that, um, that 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 is how that that is how these people play the game. Like, why 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 do you even why do you even roll the servant? You could just look at the numbers and jerk off to it. So, uh, so that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell people about that now. Um, so, okay, your turn. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, we had that that one debate episode where we were talking about Summer Ibuki maybe being EX+, and it was sort of me versus him and Frio. Um, and some people in the comments, they jumped in and they gave their takes. Um, a lot of people seemed to disagree, but one in particular was really fucking funny to me, <laughs> because this guy was trying to simultaneous like he, he he was saying that ibuki should not be ex plus for the reasons that melusine lancer melusine should be ex plus so uh, but basically the logic uh, let me let me read out this 
this stellar, incredible logic that he was bringing to the table. Okay, so just so he brought up two teams, these two teams that uh, are capable of doing something, I guess. So, so the point was she has to be able to replace an EX plus support and do as good as said meta support in at least a notable amount of situations. No specificity there, because that would actually make his argument harder to argue against. Um, yeah, I mean, that it would make it easier to argue against. That's why you want to be clear about your points when you're making them. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to confuse people, and, yeah. But the, the example he used was NP1 Summer Ibuki with Waver, Rhinus, and Oberon is weaker than NP1 Spishtar with Castoria, Waver, and Oberon. So, I, uh, I, I was confused because he he left out Castoria for Summer Ibuki, which, like, I, I don't know how that would in, even remotely be relevant within the context of this tier list, that he's arguing in favor of her not being there. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> And then, meanwhile, Melusine, who's EX+, uh, can do that. Uh, and she apparently can do whatever this, this guy is saying, which he's not very speci specific about. He was saying that Melusine with Waver, Rhinus, and Oberon versus Ereshkigal with Waver, Koyansky, and Oberon. And Melusine does win. So... Weird, huh? I mean, so, like, it wasn't until, like, halfway through the conversation I finally got him to clarify what he means. Like, is it challenge quests? Is it, is it just loop farming? What is it? Uh, it, it was loop farming, I think, because he said looping, which I would assume is loop farming. Uh, he's not very good at, like, defining what he says. Uh, and the idea of that is so fucking funny, because if you're not... It, if you're not running Black Grail on Melusine, and you're doing that team with Waver, Rhinus, and Oberon, you know, how, guess how much damage you do on Wave One? I don't know, probably not a lot. Like Melusine has needs ramp up and shit, so I don't. Yeah, I, like, like it's probably not a lot. It's like twenty thousand neutral. <clears throat> this is, and this <clears throat> is somehow a case for her, like <clears throat> you know, being being ex plus. Like um. And then, like, okay, you might think, like, okay, well, maybe he did mean with Black Grail. Well, you see, the thing is, if you bring in Black Grail, then Summer Ibuki basically always beats Spishtar. Because the only edge Spishtar has over Ibuki is she does not... Uh, she has the ramp up on her NP damage, but it means nothing if you're not using Oberon uh, in... If, uh, if Ibuki actually has her own source of NP damage, which is Black Grail. And so it's like, it falls apart because he's applying a double standard for his justification. And like, the example he was using for, for Melusine was like, he, he was trying, his point was that she's able to do a loop farm like three turn and out damage someone who isn't even like top of the chart Arish has Arish is not near the top of the chart even in, if you go over into the 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 NP refund or not NP refund I don't have it open the, the looping spreadsheet Arish is like number seven out of like in ideal setups she's number it's seven. because she has one turn mana burst like it, it, one turn mana burst is just, yeah. just like it, in no, looping it. sheets on third wave is so much worse than 30 percent bust up for three turns because it's 30 percent just 60 percent right yeah. and, and uh, the, the funny thing about this is there's so many actual arguments for melusine like for example you can argue that she's two in one so it's better yeah. it's better yeah, that deal was, that was never brought right? up right <laughs> like like, uh, like there's so fact, many as a matter of fact the hilarious thing was this guy was so afraid of engaging with my points, which were Ibuki is able to do like a shit ton of things her really STs well. Not, not that amazing. Um, I ended up finding out her ST is actually pretty crazy. Uh, I could be, I, I, 
not crazy, but like her her SD is really, really still really good. I I thought her ST is bad, but like forty percent attack up is kind of scary. I, I I think her ST is I, I might have underestimated her ST form uh, on Melusine, but yeah. but like it yeah I mean anyways yeah that's something good but yeah um so like the the his a uh, his point versus Ibuki which to some extent makes sense was like okay you don't who needs another omni farmer like uh but like he kept downplaying every single strength she had like uh like she he would find one example one really weak example that generally just didn't matter versus like from some comp some competition and it was like yeah this is proof that she is not impressive in that regard and he on numerous occasions said that she's a decent omni looper blushy i know you don't think that she is the x plus but would you agree on her being a decent omni looper what ibuki yeah or is she's, she... a, she's she's the best one now i mean exactly I and because i mean she is hard carried by the berserker class i'm gonna be real but you know yeah, yeah but still like still like she does her thing better than the competition because she's all like especially in the for the sake of this conversation we're comparing her to other classes and like i know okay well it, it helps that she has the 50 percent bonus against most everyone but again the point of comparison is these other classes, not other berserkers. Other classes are just bad. Like, like in FGO, there's two classes. There's Berserker and your bad class. So, like, if you're not a Berserker, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, it, and do you know whose fault that is, Castor? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like uh, uh <clears throat> but yeah, I mean... The, the the thing with FGO like arguments as well is there is no like it, he, here's the thing like for example if you, if you play a card game and then you, you 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 tell people damn this card really fell off after after another card came out do you know what settles the uh, the argument you just look at the the win rate of that card or like for example oh this Pokemon fell off after the new generation you just look at the win rate of that pokemon in different tournaments yeah. right like i'm not saying that is 100 percent definitively true but like there's an easier proving ground for all of these other pvp games mostly uh for whether a thing is good or bad for a pve game like fgo fgo is not just a pve game fgo is a pve game that has basically no competition like they they even made fun of competitive uh like how like remember when there, there was a learning with manga issue where they were like oh my god i had a bad dream uh altera had a bad dream where fgo had leaderboards for rewards and stuff and then so like fgo did a, doesn't want to be a game that has any like sense of comp competitiveness in it, in it so like conversations on which servant is better ends up being completely pointless because neither party can prove who is right or who is wrong. I mean, obviously, the competence of each party's ability to argue their point is very apparent sometimes. For example, the example Otto just brought up, you know, one of them is not very good at articulating their points, the other is, but there's no proof. There's no proof. There's no proof that I Ibuki's better than, like, Space Ishtar. There is no proof. Yeah. Like, there are some proof. Like, maybe there are some database that records every, like, 90 plus plus comp throughout like the past 20 20 90 plus plus nodes then maybe that is some form of proof but like in the game itself and for the information that most people are familiar with there's absolutely no proof there's absolutely no proof so basically because of how uncompetitive and pve fgo is uh that's also why i said servant reviews don't matter uh other like it, especially not not servant reviews actually tier lists don't matter because there's no, there's actually no competition. There's no comparison. There's no point of comparison. Like you, you cannot say, you can technically, you cannot say like, uh, Charle Charlemagne is a better quick servant than Kashin Koji. You can't say that because on what, under what context, right? Like there's no official like competitive context 
or a fair context to evaluate them. Like you can bring up different points, like he has better refund, he has better yada yada yada. But like you know, there there isn't an official thing where you can use to gauge how good a servant is, right? Like so so like th this this type of conversation always just become like two people in a screaming match because neither can provide the wrong. So it's just pointless. So like that, that, that's why I've been a little bit apathetic about tier lists. Like I try to get, you know, I try to be very, uh, you know, passionate about it when arguing source for some reason, Song Zong, uh, because I, I use Song Zong uh, quite a bit in, in NA in Taiwan. And I just think she kind of fell off, um, but uh, I could be wrong. Right. But my, my point is like, a lot of this stuff is pointless. It's just entertainment. Like it, it's literally completely pointless. Like, yeah. We can only do third party comments like who has done more TA. Yeah, but but that is only one aspect, right? Like if dude, if I even bring up the idea of using that, because there is legitimately a uh basically a uh, a bounty list, right? Like every TA is kind of like a bounty, and then like which servant claimed the most bounties uh uh for the past year on TA. It's actually kind of fun. Like I'm not saying to treat it super seriously, but it's kind of fun, right? You can see like, oh, this servant had like claimed the most victories in the past year kind of it's it's, it's, kind, it's kind of fun it's all for great fun right but like like if i even bring up the notion of using that kind of stuff then the ta brain rot comments will literally flood the entire chat for two hours so yeah anyways sorry so you're, so uh, I, I keep taking the, the microphone uh, yeah oh that's fine we that's why we both have microphones <laughs> Uh, so uh how do you feel about talking about Ilya now sure that that entire conversation with Ilya sure um so what I talked uh, what I mentioned earlier in the intro uh the uh the bit of gamer rage I had uh it was while we were discussing Ilya now Ilya is a really weird character because she isn't particularly bad but people have a lot of reasons that they make up to say she is bad uh like what started it was people say her np gain is bad which is just very much not true her np gain is actually uh really solid because she can ramp up her np gain like her arts cards at base are like 1.6 which is above yeah. average uh, and then like she also has charge per turn as a passive. I guess that can help a bit. I didn't even mention that. But then she has her second skill as well, which increases her NP gain further. Uh, she has good arts cards. Uh, uh, her quick card is piss. Uh, her buster card is one hit, so no. Uh, it's just like three arts cards. That means like three good arts cards means you have good NP gain. Um, but it ended up slanting over into like like the discussion went over to her attack debuff on her np because she's really unique in that regard uh as she ramps up her np gen and her star gen she ramps down her attack and her defense she gets a 10 percent attack debuff and a 10 percent defense debuff every time she uses her np and it's after damage and my point was it doesn't really matter that much. Like, it's so easy to remove debuffs these days. And if you're using a single target, you're using cards. And we have so many cards, uh, so many uh, command codes these days that can remove attack debuffs or just debuffs in general. And then you also compare her with Castoria, and let's be honest, you're probably going to pair her with Castoria because who the fuck is going to double bitch on a challenge quest with, with Ilya? She has one buster card. Uh, so, the, then, like, th there's ways around it, uh, and, and then, like, okay, she also, it is RNG, but she also has a debuff immune on her third skill, and that can help take care of that for one time, at least. There's a lot of ways of working around that. Uh, I think a big problem with it is, uh, she has two skills that fit the things that M Mist hates the most. One of them is a mana burst, and one of them is an RNG skill. And, um, dude, like, 
like you can say what you want like it, it isn't a very modern thing these days like the mana bursts they they do look cringe and all but it's not as bad as people act like maybe it's maybe it's just because i'm not spoiled uh by by having a bunch of three turn card buffers like dude i usually use chen gong like i like that one turn 50 percent damage buff is enough if you know enough about the game when to use it and you don't just like like drop it immediately and then oh man i don't have damage for the oh, next true. bar immediately mana burst on Aresh. what happened there i wasn't on the lancer list why is she still yeah i mean i understand why she's still ex but like did, did, you know, did he like dock a point on her on for that i mean i'd, I'd assume that since it has a 50 percent battery on top of it it's fine but like it's not like, fine. Have you seen the, 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 the looping damage with double Vich because she can't double cast that? It actually hurts her a little bit. It's just a little bit, but like, well, not more than a little bit, but like, I, I mean, like, like, I don't know. I, I, I just honest, think like, I'm wait, honest, doesn't, it, wait, 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 attention. wait, no. Doesn't Alias Battery also tie those, isn't that the exact same skill? Hold on. No, no, it's, oh, it's, it's alone. Uh, the oh, battery okay. is tied to her. Invul oh. uh, I think it would oh, actually be okay, better okay. tied to her uh, mana burst. Mana burst. Yeah, but uh, it's she just gets a lot of hate for some reason, and like, and like the big thing though is like the comparison between her and uh, and Sanzong. Sanzong, and it's it's a very split comparison because it's either. People think one is way better than the other, or the other is better than the one. Um, and it, it, no one is saying they're about even for any reason. Um, it's, it's it's a hard comparison say, at times. I, I, I said I slightly prefer Ilya, but like I could be wrong. Uh, because I, I like the oh, yeah. shorter quota. I, I think it combos better with Vich. But, uh, the, I mean, everything was fine until he pulled out that uh, damage yes. list. I don't yes. know what the fuck is happening. That was the problem, though. The way that they go about assessing this type of thing, I hate it. It's just so dumb. Uh, like, I, I know, like, spreadsheets are, like, supposed to be, like, numbers are supposed to be objective and all, but it's, but the over reliance Criteria. on them like there's so many things that just don't matter um and like one of the things uh, I, like now that i've actually had some time to look at it i realized that the thing that i that was pulled up to prove me wrong was wrong. very stupid so it's insane so one of the things that they brought up was the crit sheet so what the crit sheet is it it shows Potential single uh, target damage, basically, in one turn. Uh, so you've got, like, uh, you got all of these chains up here. Like, you got BAQ, BQA, AQB, uh, and then this DPS one. Uh, so, like, it, okay, it shows oh, the damage no. of the Buster card, damage of the Arts card, damage of the Quick card. Explain this. And it goes through all of the card types, including potentially NP. So, Sanzo is really fucking low, first off. Um, so, because, like, this DPS number is just the average potential. That is uh, MP damage only, no? No. No, it's, oh. it's average potential damage in one turn. Oh, so, so it if you have cards! So, if you... What? <laughs> yeah, also, I'm, I'm not... I don't know where the extra attack factors in here like I, I don't see no, it anywhere no no wait wait does this include cards yes yeah that's what baq uh bqa is uh, you have uh, to go really oh, far oh, to oh, oh uh you might be thinking of the other spreadsheet oh there's two of them yeah oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh this, this, this is, is not the uh this is not the one with dps start mode burst potential yes this is <laughs> this is the one with crits and, oh, never mind. This is the other and one. I, right. So first off, can we like take a moment to appreciate that the fact that people genuinely want to make judgments between Ilya and Sanzo based on their crit potential? Like, neither it's, they have art stacks. See, it's actually and they fair have nothing. because they both have art stacks. Yeah, they have art stacks. And they have nothing for their card damage. The only difference is one has 20% attack, and the other has 50% buster. So 50% card for one card, or 
attack for like all of it. Uh, so what it comes down to, the reason why Ilya is lower, the main reason is because she has a lower attack stat. Because they both have nothing going for them in this regard. What makes it even stupider though, you might realize, wait, Ilya has more entries here than Sansa does. And the reason why is because they add more in entries to average out, because that's what this this number here is. That's an average of all of the averages, basically. So, so it factors in the minus 10% attack, which, okay, to some extent you might think, oh, well, I guess that makes sense because you use the NP and then, no, that's not the case. Why the hell are there all of these numbers? with the 10% attack down. There, there is no NP usage here. <laughs> I, like, look, man, I understand this took a lot of time because just reading it took some kind of college level education. All right, like, like the, in order for you to understand what the fuck this is happening, you need at least a, a, a college diploma, right? So, <laughs> so, so I understand th this, this took a lot of effort, but when you are assuming so many different situations and you still can't cover absolutely every situation, you might as well not assume any criteria. It is what I feel. So this is just too much. This is way too much. Uh, it, the, the same thing goes for the, uh, the MP damage one, where there's like four different mode, four different modes. I can't even say four different modes because one of the modes is called mode. God damn it. I guess we can show yeah. that later. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess we're not quite done here with this, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah you can keep going keep with the crit one. For but, that. yeah, uh, it, it's basically, like, a mixture of the attack stat is lower for Ilya. The, uh, uh, they count the minus 10% attack on, like, all of these numbers for some reason instead of just, uh, instead of just the ones where she uses her NP because that makes sense. And then she also... Uh, then also, like, it, it's a buster buff versus an attack buff. Like, buster buff for a servant with one buster card versus uh, attack buff for a servant with one buster card. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, neither of these servants are going to synergize that much with Vich. That's why she's the lowest out of all, all of these. See, like, it, it does nothing there. Like, okay, Vich is boosting her damage on one card here versus one card here. It, it's just meaningless numbers, and that that's something that kind of sent me off the edge. It's just the thing that, like, it, it it's kind of hit home and all. It, it's just, like, people care way too fucking much uh, they put too much value in the peak possibility. Like, this is, like, this is always assuming, like, you can do this. This is assuming that, this is assuming things in a vacuum, basically. Uh, it's very, I think this is an even better demonstration of this. Like, everything here has Black Grail. Everything here has, uh, thank you, thank you for the raid, rock. I didn't know you streamed. Uh, everything here has very particular stuff. This is all just NP damage numbers, by the way. Uh, hey, yeah. And like, start is the peak damage you can get in turn one. Mode is like middle turn. And burst is like the ma the the peak damage on turn three or whatever. Some some dumb shit with it. And do, potential do, do, doesn't do, do matter. You know, no, no, the, the dumb thing with mode, right? I have to rant about this. Do, do you know that the dumb thing with mode is? It, it's like for five turn cooldown skills on Buster Servants, they count it as the double cast. But but if it's a six turn cooldown skill on a Buster Servant, it doesn't double cast. Well, well, I mean, this is like three turns. Yeah. So so it makes it. I guess it kind of makes sense because like it you does, use, but like, use it on turn time, one it... and then you use it on turn three. But the thing is, this is just assuming how like this is assuming that the average damage here is just in three turns and that's it. This is. Mm -hmm. This is for single targets. This is for challenge quests, I guess. 
but he, it's he, fucking he, useless. It, they get they have the audacity to give this guy all sorts of shit for Minturn brain rot when they are evaluating one hundred percent of their damage stupid. here in three turn values. Like fuck anything after those three turns. It's the those three turns that matter. Yeah, but it, it also mm. doesn't make sense here. Uh, in terms of mode, exactly. In terms of the definition of mode, it should be more like average because you're only seeing double casting without like the third turn damage for a single turn out of the three turns. So it's not the mode. There's only three, three datas. So it and, and like none of the datas are identical. So it's not the mode. That's literally not what it fucking means in 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 statistics for sure. Um, but like they should have just said like turn one turn two and turn three because that's a more honest yeah, way of putting it actually yeah why not just say that that's literally what it is like uh, this is this just confuses people who like it, it's yeah, every just number that is the mode here it's just it's three turns different one numbers. two and three yeah every number is the mode because 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 like turn one is just one turn one number this one turn two numbers is one turn three number so like yeah what, what the fuck are you talking about so like the the thing with this list though is like <sighs> you are calculating on a hypothetical hypothetically generated situation which is pointless so yeah people who actually do calculations calculate each stage separately so what, what I, I don't personally do that much calculation in TAs that's that's why I'm not a great TA player but like TA player writes scripts for each CQs. So they calculate every single turn specifically. The damage for every single turn. Every single turn. So that makes sense because under context. For farming, you calculate the damage for every single turn because there's context. That There's a point. This is pointless because the, you're, you're, the he's fighting thing, the air. It, it, he's the fighting the air. The only thing that matters is the NP damage here. Uh, and especially with Ilya, that is so unfair because they're counting with for Ram Ilya, down. Yeah. Because Ilya does not have the opportunity to... There is no nuance here. It's just like, if you're in a three-turn farming node, like, th that's it. This is just if you're in a 1-1-1 one, one, one node. That's the only application of this. This, because you are completely disregarding the fact that you can remove these attack debuffs. There are so many ways to remove these attack debuffs. And if you're not in a challenge... If you're in a challenge quest, you have the option of using command codes... Or support, like you can use Atlas, you can use fucking all sorts of things. And do you know what the funny thing is? It's also not applicable in a 111 farming node because they're using BG. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's that's a good fucking point. Yeah. It, like a lot of a lot of so, servants so on these is... lists can't even do Black Grail with like this. Most uh, of them. Most of them cannot. can't even do it with like. Like, for this fucking example, why is shooting up here? Why does she have double bitch and uh, she has no charge? She's this getting isn't nothing out of Oberon. <laughs> yeah, there, there is this no isn't Oberon. Even counting Oberon. This is just so, like, this is just so, 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 this is implying an ideal that doesn't exist so, because so, there's so like, no <laughs> out of, yeah, out of all the so criteria as you, you could possibly said, he set a criteria that is impossible to happen in the game. And then he'll say, but you can use cards, right? Like, oh, what I'm assuming is if I if I do MP and then do an arts card and then I get my MP back and then boom, then Ilya should have an advantage because Ilya has a better arts card. I mean, Sanzong has MP gain up, so I'm not sure. But like, or, or like Ilya can put clear command codes on the arts cards, like you said. So now you can clear the attack down. So like, there's so many assumptions going on here that it becomes pointless. There's too many assumptions. There's too many assumptions. That, that happens here to the point that is pointless. You either have zero assumption or you have all assumptions. And you clearly understand you cannot have all assumptions here. So you might as well have none, right? Like this is the most pointless thing ever. Like I, I like, like this is like no offense. Like once again, I, I think he definitely spent way too much time on this because holy shit, but there's no point to this. This is point. This is like one of the most pointless looping sheets I've ever seen. Because for looping sheets, at the very least, I know in a hypothetical perfect looping situation, which does happen in the game, I know what my damage are. And for rat's sheet, it's just 
uh, completely raw, no no external buffs, then that there's also a point for that because now you can relatively compare the servants. This is halfway on either side, and it just becomes pointless. Yeah, this this is basic. This is why I'm always going back to this sheet. The uh, uh, this is the spreadsheet that. Uh, that Rat and Taiso runs, who is a, a based individual. He's a big Riku appreciator. Uh, but basically, the assumptions for this this spreadsheet is each each servant does not have a craft essence. Uh, they do not have any external buffs. They just have their own buffs that they have active. That includes one turn buffs or two turn, three turn, whatever. And they also included on the right here the numbers for if they have these niches that's why murasaki has five different entries here <laughs> because she has yeah. five different she actually has six different uh situations with potential damage so the reason why i think this is valuable because like to be fair you're you're basically never going to go without a craft essence and you're never going to not have support unless you're in a solo but the thing is, what is the point of judging the maximum damage versus the minimum? Like, it makes so much more sense to operate from a minimum perspective than a maximum perspective. Because yeah. then you, because what happens there is with this, you have everyone assuming Black Grail. Like this, like okay, who synergizes best with Black Grail? Who has the best buff values for if you're using Black Grail? And then you have shit like Sanzo, who has. A 20% attack buff versus Ilya's 70% buster. Like, uh, all right. Like, that, it's such a massive difference. Yeah. Um, and, and then the, the and, thing with Rat's sheet, right? Because, like, to, to, sorry, to, to like, re reply to someone in chat, uh, he said, um, but you need to take into account new else like one turn buffs. Yes, I use this sheet all the time. So if, if you if, if you watch some of my videos that use this sheet, I remove the one turn buff. I have two numbers. The one that includes the one-turn buff and the one that doesn't include the one-turn buff. Because it's easy to remove. It's easier to remove buffs when you don't have a bunch of e external conditions. Like, it's harder to remove a 50% buster up from a sheet like the first one that has like Black Grail, Double Koi and Skaya, all that considered, compared to just this. Because with this, it's usually just divided by 1.5. Like, it's easy. It's easy to remove buffs from this kind of stuff compared to when you have so many things compounding together. For for example, if you if you have two other buster buffs from Koi and Light, what you have to do if you want to remove a 50% buster up is not to divide by 1.5, is instead to divide by one... Uh, you should divide it by... Like the total point... buster and then multiply it by yeah, the yeah. new amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, so yeah, much to, better to, to start divide with it by one. Two point five and then times two, right? So, yeah. so like, and it gets even more complicated when there's like, oh yeah, like MP P damage mods. buffs. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, MP damage buffs. Gotta and peel P mods that black grail off of there too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta peel that black grail. and like if you include Oberon, I don't know if that doesn't include Oberon, but if you include Oberon, you have to like, oh, you know, I have to not double it. I have to like, like reverse engineer the damage. It's very complicated. Right, unless you're using a bot, then it's easy again. But like, it, it, it's it's it, you actually cloud the the servant at its most natural state with that kind of stuff compared to this raw damage. So like, and and also like once again, the the thing is that guy's criteria doesn't really exist. Like you have looping sheets where it's basically I'm calculating. Uh, it, rat sheet is like if I'm looking at you know a polar bear on its own. And then looping sheets is like if I'm calculating the aerodynamics of a seagull when it's flying. His sheet is calculating the aerodynamics of a polar bear when he's flying. What? It doesn't ex like it, that's not a, that's not a thing. It doesn't. It's not a thing. What the fuck are you talking about? Right? Like so so like. Look, no offense to the guy who <laughs> made this. Like I I know I know I am very triggered by that, but like I I really <laughs> think it's too much. Like may, maybe sometimes like going back to. <laughs> Like, 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 maybe sometimes go going back to, you know, simple terms is better, right? Like, I, like, you, you don't have to, you don't have to, like, overthink it, man. You, like, overthinking it sometimes makes things too complicated, and it clouds the results, right? So, like, yeah, anyway. Yeah. So, 
Um, so this all goes back to this one thing that I've been pushing throughout these tier lists, which I I'd love for people to start picking up on because I think it's just such a valuable thing in the face of spreadsheet brain rot. Uh, no offense to people who make the spreadsheets, of course, but uh, it's the people that who uh, that care too much about the spreadsheets that that I, I see as a bit of an issue. Uh, but the win condition thing, the win conditions are so important because, like, this this assumes that there is no win condition that has any sort of value whatsoever. Uh, so, like, it's assuming that you have the opportunity to NP three times uh, and there's nothing that you have to deal with. There's zero gimmicks whatsoever. So, so uh, the reason why it, it just sort of clicked in, like, right after I finished ranting, uh, because I was talking to someone in chat, like, uh, and they were like, okay, well, uh, well, if the enemy has invuln, then, like, well, just use an invuln pierce C. It's it's easy. But you see what see the problem with spreadsheets like this is once you switch out Black Grail for Pierce Invuln, you don't have the number anymore. <laughs> so so the number goes down tremendously because Black Grail is so good for damage, which makes it which makes servants that have Pierce Invuln so much more valuable. Because they can keep running Black Grail in the face of Invuln uh, boss fights. Whereas servants like, uh, like uh, I guess, Charlotte for comparison. Because Charlotte doesn't have Pierce Invuln versus she was Pierce Invuln. Uh, she will lose Black Grail as soon as that happens. It's just people... Uh, people assume... like They, they operate 100% off of the Black Grail perspective... But then as soon as you have to not use it, that's not a problem at all. So, uh, and, and then if you go back to a list like this, then it, it makes, it, it's a lot easier to calculate that. It's like then, uh, then you can like, okay, it says Pierce Invuln here. Okay, so I can use Black Grail, uh, and that's fine. Uh, this does not use Black Grail, uh, th like she has to deal with it a different way. Uh, there's... But None yeah, of win conditions make sense anymore. At once you remove PG, exactly. Like, is dumb. Yeah, it is. Well, not this one, but the the last one. It's like it, it's not dumb. It's like it's more like it's misleading. Yeah. Like like because pe pe people really like calling rats sheet misleading because it is the most popular sheet. People are like, oh, but it doesn't work like that when you compound different buff types. Well, that is true, but also assuming a certain composition is also you know miss is as misleading if not even more because there's no like where do you draw the line with it like rat drew the line at self buffs only that's an understandable line this is the where, where did what was what's the line what's the line of that what uh, and it's like level 20 black rail it's not super black rail because because oh, you yeah. know we, 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 we can't be too pay to win here, so 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 it's like only one Black Grail. I do like their explanation, though. Their explanation is because you can get one for free uh, with the CE ticket, which is, sure, I mean, I, I, I guess that's semi-valid. That is semi-valid, maybe, probably, but still, like, come on. <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah. What what if, what are my Black Grails only level 15? Okay, that, 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 that's that, that nitpicking of it I got. Yeah. Mm. Like, like, I, <sighs> yeah, so, uh, I, I do kind of, I, I still like this sheet. Uh, like, it, it, it doesn't assume stupid things. Like, uh, it, because, like, honestly, I feel like the, the problem with a lot of spreadsheets is they, they ignore context in general, and context matters the most in challenge quests. But when it comes to farming nodes, it's just like, how many it's enemies e are there and how much HP they have. So that's yeah. when a spreadsheet is actually pretty accurate. So I like this as a resource, even though it's not 100% complete, the numbers here, like they're, they're reasonable. Uh, they're reasonably yeah. applicable. And then you will use the exact same setup he assumes on 
a situation that will exactly reflect the numbers. I mean, there's a damage yeah, rule. Yeah, and not like, everything has black numbers... rail ever, except for <laughs> except for writers. <laughs> yeah, like 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 with this sheet, the numbers you see here, like exist. The yeah. numbers you see here are all real. Like when you farm with this specific setup, this is the exact numbers you will see. I mean, obviously there are fluctuations, but in general, this is a number you're gonna see. Like, does it cover all fronts of a servant's damage? No. But does it cover a situation that exists realistically? Yes. So this is good. Yeah. The other one is... Yeah, I don't know when that cheap. happens. The others I don't know were, when that happens. The others you know? are not like, like, based. Uh, yeah. Like, I, like, I feel yeah. like this, this crit sheet, though, like, I, I feel like this is just kind of silly. Not gonna lie. It, it's just... Uh, there, I, I'll be honest. There's only like two servants that should have had this come up yesterday. Uh, also, hilarious how how many entries Murasaki has. Um, no, no, no. Do, do, do you know what the funniest thing is? Why are you considering Pope Joan? Pope Joan. Uh, it the, remove the reason, her. Well, well, they want to go with like the potential top damage comps or whatever, and some people. Oh, think there that's is actually... Yui. Never mind. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> but like i mean there's only a couple casters that do crit damage like he even joked about it one of the top casters here is castoria <laughs> like that should really tell you how on uh how irrelevant it is for the most part uh like izumu is the only one that it really does matter on uh because like just everyone else it's that's not their thing oh and i guess babbage as well uh, hold on a second. I just realized something. Uh, where was Murasaki? I just realized something that might actually, uh, fuck up how I this assume thing Scotty's is. the highest, no? Uh, Scotty is one of the highest. Uh, is uh, she, she not that has... damn? I think she's number two. Yeah. Wait, what, wait, two. what, what setup is she using? Oh, uh, she's just Scotty, well, there's Scotty. Double Scotty? There's double Scotty. And then uh, there's technically Yui's double Scotty pretty. and double Scotty. <laughs> uh, Scotty go, yeah, go, goes pretty good. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, dude, it, it's just, I'm, I'm not trying to hurt people with this. Like, I, I I'm, you know, it, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of comedic, I guess, the, the, the way I react to this. But like, at the same time, I think, I think like maybe not pulling this out that often to like make a ma make your argument you know like 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 for example like Ilya has bad damage has such worse damage compared to Sanzong I I'm not that familiar I'm not that familiar with Ilya and Sanzong uh, so I'm surprised I'm like I thought Ilya had better damage than Sanzong in terms of MP damage at least like burst MP damage but he pulled it up it was a hundred thousand less Ilya has does a hundred thousand less than Sanzong. I'm like, what the fuck? Am I crazy? Well, no, because they're counting the the, the they're they're adding three numbers together, in, and then making a mean, like they they they're, they're, they took the mean of the three numbers uh, for the three turns, and she ramps down, so she's counting the ten percent the ten percent attack down, the twenty percent attack down, on the third turn, so like. You, you 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 shouldn't it's not fair like their damage difference is not a hundred thousand on mp it's not yeah i'll also gotta like appreciate how how her first turn of damage it's like three hundred thirty six thousand, and then sansa's is three hundred sixty three thousand average like uh, yeah, it's just like her damage doesn't. Yeah, it's dumb. I think it's dumb. I, I understand if people think they're close, but when you look at the sheet, it's not close, but it is. And the only reason because uh, behind the sheet not being close is because of, you know, just, uh, uh you know, like misleading. Like, th th this is misleading. This is very misleading. 
Like I, I never took the time to actually look at what I this sheet is all about. Because I, I thought I, it was just one turn damage for MP damage. Like, oh, I thought it was just one turn burst. I thought I, the entire sheet was start. I whoa. didn't know it was the mean of three turns worth of that. Like, what the? F yeah. So. So. Oh. What's I gonna say? Uh, so I think. I don't think the problem is so much these spreadsheets as it is just the fact that people are caring about them. Like, yes, the, the, I, the, the, I think this is what people I are pl placing too much value into it, and I think part of it might be because Mist really wants to be appreciative of his community, and I I understand that. Like, they they put a lot of work into this, and they just wanted to help. I understand. Out. But, I understand. But I think Mist just puts way too much value in in these spreadsheets and I'm I'm not sure if it's because he doesn't quite understand what they do uh like, entirely or like, how inapplicable they are what I'm simply asking is just oh my you god can't... holy shit holy shit dude look at look at charlotte's like turn 1 517,000 turn 2 319,000 bro yeah that's why she's broken or something have fun. Oh. Anyways, that that is why she's broken, apparently. But I, I think she's overrated. Her damage is overrated, at least. Um, but uh, like, oh, I just remembered. Also, uh, something about this spreadsheet is it assumes one support MP for whatever reason. One support MP. Th does it count overcharge then? Uh. I, I don't think so. Because, like, Charlotte's skills like, would overcharge. If the Castoria MP is just attack up versus it scales one stage of overcharge, that's a huge fucking difference in their damage. Yeah. Would... Um... Like, like you can't... You're just assuming 20 things that doesn't always happen. You know? Like, you, you can't you can't do that. Like, uh, oh, like, once again, back to, like... I think this kind of sheet is fine. Uh, uh, especially after you have understand the full context. Like, you can decide to whether you know to how to use it uh my decision is to just not use it but like your decision might be different from mine like you, like after you understood the, the list maybe you you know oh i can use the list this way because it's all resources right the number is weird but it's technically real it comes from somewhere right but like you can't just pull this out and say your argument is wrong because this says that because this is not like fact this is not you. You can't you can't pull out like oh, Ilya's damage is a hundred thousand less than Sanzang. You are completely wrong. And then somebody in chat was like, yeah, sure, defend Ilya when you don't have any argument against this spreadsheet, right? Like it's smug ass motherfucker, right? Like so so like, you can't just do that. You cannot bring this sheet up and then invalidate my argument because oh, this is numbers because it's wrong numbers. Mm. It, it, it just it's not wrong so numbers it's things. weird numbers right like you, you can't just do that you literally cannot do that like you're like oh this character has good damage because this sheet says so no this character has good damage under this very weird ass fucking context that happens once in a blue moon yes you're correct that if you said that right like like it, it's just no you're wrong you're wrong okay you, you, you're just wrong it's stupid absolutely ridiculous um, but like, like I, I, I really don't like, you know, having my opinion invalidated because of that one list, because I, I didn't know what that list was. So I was a little bit unhappy, but I always doubt myself. Like I doubted myself that, uh, on stream, like if, if you couldn't tell, I was like, what the fuck? How does she does so, so little damage compared to Sanzong? I'm like, I'm genuinely surprised. I'm like, that is why on stream, do you remember what I said on stream? I said uh like. I don't know much about the servants anyways, so I'm completely wrong. Please ignore my opinion. Because I thought I was wrong, but I didn't know I was gaslit by this fucking list for thinking I'm wrong. Yeah, dude. I'm not- I was... Yeah, dude, I, I- That's why I told them, uh, like, 99% of people in chat and none of the people on the stream used her, so, like, our opinions don't really matter that much. <laughs> Like, dude, I, I, got, that I literally got gaslit into thinking I'm wrong. Like, this sheet gaslit me on stream, live, right? Like, 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 how can I not be a little bit offended by this? Like, this, this is, this is insane. This, this, this is, this is so dumb. 
Like, like next time, whenever he brings up this sheet to counter my argument, I'm not going to take it very seriously because of this. I'm going to be like, this list is like a weird ass criteria that happen that is like only applicable in your imaginary world. So I'm not going to take your opinion regarding this list seriously, right? Like, like I, I, I can't, I, I can't have an argument like this. Like, like how, how do I have an argument when you just pull out this like a sheet? Like, oh, you're, you're wrong. Anyway, yeah. Yep. Well, well, that was uh, that was something we went through yesterday. Uh, we uh, it was it was a very silly conversation to have, but it, I, I'm kind of glad it happened. Uh, I, I mean, the one on stream, but it's uh, it's it, it's just yeah. There's like a big spreadsheet problem with people and. It's it's not even like the spreadsheets are wrong. It's just the spreadsheets are more useless than people think. Uh, At least but, use hey. a better one. I would yeah. be less offended if you use a better one. This is not a good one. I mean, this is a more confusing one, I should say, or more misleading one. Yeah. So yeah, we can um, we can bring up some of this stuff uh, when when we go up next week if it's a problem again. Uh, next week is Assassins. Uh, assassins. I can't think of anything immediately that would that would pose that big of a... Kama's better than King Hassan. Kama is big, better than King Hassan. Yeah. Bite my ass. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, I am inclined to agree. Yeah, it's, um... I have a feeling that's gonna definitely be something we have to fight on. Yeah, that that is the one thing. I mean, the 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 thing with Kama, right, is that there's too many mental debuff immunities, and the reason behind that is Kama. Yeah. Yeah, but she As she charms so many things, anyways. So like, bro. yeah. Yeah. King is on over there with his potato damage. Yeah. King Asan well, has wait, better damage actually, when he triple busters or buster loops, actually. I mean, he, oh, yeah, he has I guess good so. damage. Yeah, he, actually, he, now he, that, he, yeah, now that I think of it, his third skill's been buffed, so it's three turns. It's not as bad now. Yeah. It's still just yeah, he, it, unupgraded, you know? Like, the, the the thing with Kama versus King Asan, I don't want to... I, I guess I don't want to go too deep into the, the, the list itself, but like, the, the thing with Kama versus King Asan is that Kama's damage... Um... Holy shit, hold on, somebody sent me a cool run on Super Recollection. Never mind. Uh, so, like, the thing with Kama versus King Asan is, I think Kama works better. Like, double Scotty Kama is a better team than double Koyan Light King Asan, in my opinion. Mm. And Kama solo is better than King Asan solo. As yeah. long as the, the enemy is charmable. So, I think, because of these two reasons, Kama is better than King Asan. But, I mean... Yeah, that 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 is my take. Cause like, but yeah, she's just, I mean, if so uh, if we're gonna get get into the nitty gritty and discount mental debuff immune, like, you better say the same about Van Gogh, guys. Oh, true, Van Gogh. I mean, Van, Van Gogh, dude. I every yeah. time I TA though, I wish they have mental debuff immune. Yeah, dude. Cause like Van Gogh's. I mean, uh, it's the same with Kama, I guess. Yeah, with Kama. Kama's actually anti-TA. You literally cannot call me TA Brain Rot when I call Kama good, because Kama is anti-TA. Kama, like, all of these serve like, Kama and Summer Kama, they're, like, anti-Mintern. Especially Summer Kama, because her damage, like, only comes out when you have the charm. So, like, it, it's, it, like, if you don't charm, she loses her, like, biggest MP boost, damage boost, right? So, like, th that is, she's the most anti-TA DPS in the game, probably. Uh, so, but, yeah. It was I gotta funny. say, uh, the comments on this caster list have been amassing a lot faster than on the other lists. I, think I mean, this caster is... is the controversial one. It's always going to be the most oh, yeah. controversial one. Yeah, a thousand views an hour. That is more than uh, the the first few did, but I guess that's because the, the, the engagement from the first ones is making the algorithm uh, feel a little tickled. And I guarantee you, uh, half of them are about Merlin not being in EX+. Plus. Uh...
Here's, um... Yeah, a, a lot of... It, it's actually kind of funny that, uh, that Mist asked about the thumbs up thing, because uh, that, that's actually really cool that there's... There are people weighing in on it, and it's not... Like, they can actually prove that they weighed in on it, you know? Oh. Because he what? said, like, oh, if you guys heard this, then leave a thumbs up in your comment. <laughs> it was like, uh... yeah, okay, I, I know that's I know that's just to get more people to comment, but yeah. But that, that, that is smart. That is smart to actually, like, test it. Um, next time he should do gift card giveaways in the object. <laughs> no, no, what he should Didn't do, it? he should claim to do gift card giveaways. Then he'll make up a person in the comments that uh, that doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, and like say that me. He sent them. Yeah, and, yeah, and pretend he sent the, the, those cards to him. He just sent it to me. Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> but like, yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. And so, how about how about we talk about something something else that happened uh, that we could have discussed last week if we had done this tier list, but uh, not tier list, this, uh... Oh, you know oh, yeah. what? Now that I think of it, we can still also discuss the writer tier list. It's, there's not as much to talk about there, but... Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't... Writer tier list is the, mo is the more uh, peaceful one, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, like, who cares about writers, honestly? That's actually true. That's actually so sad, because, like, nobody cares that much about writers. So, like, they're just like, oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, we, we can talk about Charlie and Brad's buffs, I think, first. Man, this looks like a smaller list. Uh, they're all, like, more concentrated, and it's harder to make a funny face out of them. <laughs> uh, Ours and Assassins are kind of boring. Uh, Assassin's not. I don't think Assassin's boring, because, like, there's a couple of... Cr like, th there's a couple of crazy ones people are go crazy over, like, like King Hassan. King Hassan versus Kama is probably a huge one. Whether Jack the Ripper fell off is another one. Um, Tezcali Polka, whether he should get his own tier is another one. Um, and, uh, if, if Sammy Ram is the worst SSR in the entire game is another, <laughs> like, th there's actually a lot of stuff, uh, with, with Assassin. Man, I don't uh, like I that discussion, the, what SSR is the worst, because, like, none of them are bad. They're all good. Yeah. It's, uh, Dude, like... Huyen Joy is so fucking good. I would, I'm gonna put her in, I'm gonna put her in. A plus. Uh, I don't know who's gonna be in EX. If uh if Koyan Light's in EX. That uh, that would oh dude, that would be that would be kinda crazy, dude. Oh putting Kui and Joy in EX? Uh no, putting uh, uh Vich in EX. Oh Vi Instead Vich has EX her own plus. tier, dude. Dude, yeah. Vich dude. Cause that would be so funny if we put uh Caster Scotty in EX plus, but not not bitch. No, v Vich has to be in EX plus. But like, I'm gonna be real. Koyan Koyan Light. Never mind. I don't have an argument. I lied. Uh, <laughs> but right. uh, yeah. So I got this uh, this writer tier list. Holy shit! There are so many uh, compared to that one. There's so many EX ranks. You know one thing I absolutely appreciate that Habertrot face. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you for making that. The fraud Tycho. How dare you? Tycho was really good. For farming. And for challenge quests, but like for farming. He's just used more. Like he he's used more than like Ivan. For example. Like it because I mean yeah, farming bias, but like he's you, you can't deny like he he's he's used more than Ivan, Murasaki, Ryder Liz. Man, maybe I... even Rainus. Maybe even Rainus, which is wild. But like, there you go. Man, I am, I am so happy that Murasaki got placed above Kentoki, and like obviously she was gonna get placed above uh, what's his name, Ryoma. Where did you, where did we put Ryoma again? I was oh, the people hey. that the character people love to talk about and never use. I mean, I, I bet people use him in CQs, but like, I yeah, mean, he, he he's he's. he's He's good and all. He's just not that popular, I'd say. Uh, he he doesn't have a like a big anti trait. He has two P mods, but it's both like yeah, and 30%. there's no overlap on them because it's yeah, versus chaotic and there's like and almost no waffle. overlap. Yeah, like, even, there's no overlap. Even if you're against the one servant in the game that can be both of those, you you don't get both of them. <laughs> Which is oh, um, is it guy chaotic right or waffle? 
Yeah, he's normally lawful, and then you use his first skill, and he's chaotic. Oh, 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 bruh. Yeah, so he's not at the same it, time. Yeah, because if it was both, then there would be no point of ever using his second skill first. Yeah, you would just always use have both traits, yeah. Yeah, and so, that'd be uh, even more pretenderless synergy, because that means you get two of her buffs. It's so pointless. It's, it's like Hans. Wait, is it like Hans? Uh, Hans is Hans uh, is, is evil, the other. Right? It's uh, good like evil. Yeah, good yeah, yeah. neutral evil. And... Yeah. Wait, is there other? Or is it? Yeah, there's insane? other. There's other, like like summer or. Oh. Like yeah yeah or like oh, whatever. I forgot about that. Okay. I would also put Takeda. Damn. I mean, I I actually don't know about a, uh, Odysseus. Like I I know he's very good, but like whenever I try to use him, he's just kind of whatever. But uh, I I could be wrong. I'm probably using him wrong. But uh, so uh, b because so he's arts, I don't find his taunt very valuable in a standard arts team. But uh, it's probably because I'm using a standard arts team. So so like part of what really just sells him. Uh, to me, at least, is the fact that not only is he really spammy, he can always spam uh, defensive buff removal. So, in ways, it's like it's like you take some Rabuki's NP and you put it on someone who's more defensive uh, in a in a class that actually counterclasses. I guess. I don't know. I don't use him enough. I I I, I have. Uh, I mean, I know Sandro. Uh, like, you know, oh yeah, personally. Uh, yeah, dude, so so like, space. he has a lot of core runs. Uh, on his channel, so like that, that 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 should be a good testament to that. I don't use him enough, anyways. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, Boudica. Damn, Bo I wanted Boudica to be the only three star in EX, but I failed. Um, yeah. None of those, but I, I mean, to be honest, I, I feel like a a, a plus is fair. I don't yeah, it's think fair. She's EX. Uh, it's fair, but like, it's not funny. I want to, her to be only three star in EX. Because uh, like people be are like, oh my god, Boudica is so bad. She's not anymore. You're all Roman. Yeah, so you're all fucking she's dead. Just, she's just worse mash. <laughs> oh my god. There, there was someone that said that uh, on the comments for that tier list. Uh, that shit is like He, he didn't see the buff or something, probably. I mean, the, the buff is weird uh, before the command code. I mean, it, it wasn't even that bad before the command code. It's still 50% crit. I think part of it is because when people look at a servant, uh, they can't just have the servant be good. They like for them a good servant has to have three good skills and a good NP. That's uh, still fifty percent crit on a low star support. Yeah, yeah. It's just the thing is her NP is worse than Mash's. That's yeah. It. So does Mash give you fifty percent crit on one button? No, no, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it it's just like people. Boudica and, and was like, worse Smash when the game launched, like, but it's not launch; it's year eight. I don't know what they're on. So, uh, right? so you you probably did hear because I mentioned it like at the beginning of the tier list. Uh, they had the wrong numbers for Da Vinci because, like, I, I was sitting oh. there like looking at her buffs and I'm like, okay, you use her third skill. She has 30%, like 31% arts and 30% NP damage for uh, one turn. So that's what she should have for that first turn. But then you look at his and he has 30% NP damage per NP and he's got 10% arts passive and then 20% on his cards. And I'm like, why is there a 30,000 different, uh, 30,000 damage difference between these two servants? Uh, so apparently it was just he the the person who did the numbers didn't count her NP damage buff. So now they're they're actually like really really close. Uh so her mm. damage isn't as bad as people thought it was, I guess. Mm. But I still think they're about even cuz she's got more like defensive support utility and he's got more offensive utility and uh very durable. Mm. I'd probably take DVR over him then. Because because of how I like I like I like loop, yeah yeah I feel like she's a bit more secure in the it, yeah. as like, like she synergizes better with Castoria, but yeah yeah uh, the the ton but, is the ton is weird with Castoria it's kind of pointless. 
I do, I do like, uh, and I mentioned it in the writer tier list when we got to it. I do like something about how his taunt interacts with Castor. Like it, it, it interacts with Castoria's NP in a cool way uh, because oh, you can like, preserve stacks for one person. Yeah, and right? you can actually yeah. designate someone to cycle out, even though arts teams just generally don't. Oh cycle yeah, out, that is. They very have no good. control yeah, yeah, over yeah. that. That is very good. Yeah. So, like, you can use that on Castoria, and then she never gets attacked. Uh, and then you can use his invul, and then you can use Castoria's invul on him. Uh, and he just, he takes no damage while he's actually getting defensive NP gain, and then the other servant's just taking all the fire. So, like, if you guys didn't know, before I made the writer tier list, my goal, initial goal, was to only have three servants in EX. Damn. Oh. It was Ozymandias, Rainus, and Habitrot. So, uh, so, part of the reason... Uh, so, some people might assume that what you do with his taunt is you target himself so he doesn't get attacked. Uh, it's, it's something that I, I see Sandro never... He never does that. He always targets, like, a support, so you can designate a support to survive. And he is so easy to keep alive, so you just designate one support yeah. to die. Yeah, he, he has a five-turn cooldown invul and like a de defense up on it as well. Yeah. Uh, so the rest came from mist. No, it, it's not because the rest came from mist. The rest is like because we put because we put Kintoki in A plus. Rider Liz has to be higher than him, at least in my opinion. So Rider Liz has to fit a DX. And if Ryder Liz is, is an EX, then Murasaki has to be an EX. You know? You know what I mean? Like, the, it, it, it's it's like a slippery slope. Like, like oh, like, this character is as good or better. Or, like, at least half a tier better. Yeah, it's rank inflation. Kind of. Uh, so, like, yeah. Uh, I mean, they could make a new tier as well for it. But I fucking hate making new tiers. So I I am I, I'm only okay with making new tiers on like maybe casters because like, you know, because like you know meta supports and stuff. Uh, otherwise, I, I'm not that big a fan of making new tier. Like it is hype when it happens, but it's not that the novelty wore off after the, the first yeah, see, year. Of it. See, the problem about like moving servants down is you will have really good servants that aren't as good as the best servants that end up getting moved down. So you can have like... So? It, yeah, but like you look at, like if you have a really, really good servant in like B plus because there's too many in A plus or EX or A, then it, it just looks weird. It like, looks I, I understand weird, the rank but inflation because, thing, but... Yeah, it looks weird, but like you're not supposed to read it that way. Like B plus is not a bad servant. Yeah, B but you, you also you also B have to equal best. you also have to look at it in the context of they're going to compare this to other tier lists with the same ranks. So no, what happens? We said no, what happens? Compare. What? No, no. I mean, like other class tier lists. Yeah, we said we don't cross compare different classes. Did we? I thought like, we did. Like we do, we don't compare Dude, e between. EX we don't compare. Versus, like, we don't compare versus like different rarities. I think that. We also that don't compare. No, 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 no. That, no, no, no. I don't like, know why we wouldn't compare across classes. Like, I because, mean, as, like, as as far as like one to one comparisons, like uh, like as in like I think a a a writer looper would be more useful than a caster looper. Not, I, I don't think that's oh. reasonable. But as I mean, far as like. Uh, what if I think Ryder Da Vinci against casters is as good as, uh, fucking, it's a good example, um, Saber Altera versus Lancers, then, Who's like, even EX and Archer, then? Uh, who's EX and Archer? I think none of them deserve EX, they're only EX because relatives are other Archers. You know, I, I, you know I what? Now wrong. that I think of it, I don't think we went over the, the. Yeah, the who the fuck one. is he? Like Chiron? Like yeah, Chiron's EX compared to other archers. Chiron's not EX compared to, like fucking like look look, look, look at the single. Chiron's not EX compared to like Murasaki, in my opinion. I mean, actually, he's pretty good. Hmm. That's 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 a difficult one. Yeah, but I think yeah. 
it's like, it, it 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 makes more sense to have the ranks scaled the same way though right otherwise ex plus for one thing might e be ex for another right but it's like, like I, that's the entire thing about ex plus it's not ex plus is it ex plus uh ex relative plus is to when the that servant class? feels insane yeah, well, ex well, I mean, only there, ex plus is beyond the. There's ones that, bro. We literally have an alignment called insane. <laughs> I don't. Um. Oh, uh, Gilgamesh deserves it. Right. You put. You put. Uh, actually, there. you know what? No, dumb. I was wrong. I was wrong because they're all in a plus. This is actually correct. Never mind. This is correct. I I, I think this is correct. This is absolutely correct. I I, yeah. I take it back. I, I think this is correct. Man. I forgot we put all of them in a plus. Lamau. Man, I really hate. I hate the the Napoleon slander, honestly. Like, it really is just like, you look at his skills, they don't look good, but, you know, a servant can have a really good NP and a couple not good skills. Like, like look I mean, we have I, I don't, I don't have enough... Uh, ex I, like, I don't have experience with uh, Napoleon, you know. so I can't say much. But... I mean, look... I can only take his word for it when I'm not familiar with the servant. He says he's used Napoleon before. He thinks he sucks. Well, I don't use well, Napoleon. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really trust his practical opinion. Like I, I, I don't have faith in. Uh, yeah, no offense. I don't have faith in Myth Myth's ability to apply servants in, uh, in reasonable contexts. Like I, I, I think. I think it's you have to play the game a lot more than he does. Uh, at least stream the game a lot more than he does to just like be able to prove that. And then maybe it's just because I haven't seen him play the game enough. It's just like I I don't I think to understand a servant you have to have them in a lot of you have to use them in a lot of contexts. Well, that's you impossible. Or in the very least, you have to have a good frame of reference. I don't even play uh, the game that much. I play the game all the time. I don't even play the game that much. <laughs> dude, dude, Automon, Automon, uh, uh, filtered uh, this message from someone that said, "I don't like French. Uh, I don't like French cronk." Okay. <laughs> Damn, I don't like French yeah. is uh, offensive. Yeah. Damn. This How do you prove they play more the against than others? French people. The, yeah, the, it is difficult. So like I I'm I'm going to try to not argue that. I I d deep down I believe I play the game more than a lot of people. But oh, yeah. you know what? Try, trying to argue that is may just makes you look pretentious. So like I'm going to just avoid that and th this is why I want a this is this goes back to the thing I was talking about. I why I want like some form of you know validation method for how good a servant is so how do like, you, like how do you prove uh so the way you prove that you play the game more than others is by making gameplay videos and most of most have go tubers do not like actually do that as much they don't get views yeah it's not as worthwhile because it takes more time than just like a stream clip that's why i started doing stream clips because why the fuck would i ever uh, like not ever Plushy, uh, like why didn't you it's just why didn't you put saber medusa and ex um i think she has a couple of weaknesses like i might have made a mistake there because like right after that list i think i rolled for mp mp3 and then i soloed gatia <laughs> so i might be wrong there but look <laughs> she only has one <laughs> you know I, I i was gonna make this she only has one buster card argument until i realized she did uh she she did four turn beast cop beast 3l she did four turn uh, full gauge comma, even though she only has one buster card. Bro. <laughs> what weaknesses? Um. Uh. Her overcharge sucks. Dude. <laughs> I'm for her. Her overcharge sucks. Man. <laughs> 
man, you're choking again, all right? <laughs> I, I, I know I know Achilles also did a piece. A lot of people did piece show on, on, on Buster. But, like, yeah, her, her overcharge kind of sucks. I, I, I think her overcharge could have been better. They're, like, trying to nerf her for some fucking reason. Dude, she's not even... Isn't she, like, half a tier? Like, she's almost EX? All right, I, let me look, pull that one up, too. <laughs> I just think... Okay, I think we should move on to Charlie very soon. But, like, one last thing... The only thing I didn't put in EX because I think, like, there are cases where, like, sh she's equal to Okita. Like, there are cases where she's equal to Okita. Okita has better, like, damage ramp up and shit. I know in most cases, I do think she's better, but, like, I can't argue with results on Okita. Okita's more damage. Okita's more damage for sure. Like mo more, more damage. I, I just think they're in the same rank. Medusa's. Like... Dude, she's one tier higher than Okita. What do you mean, bro? Dude, I didn't even remember that. I thought they were in the first. Dude, Med Medusa is better for like spamming NP. Like, I mean, they both have really yeah. solid NP gain, but she has a better deck for spam. That's yeah. that's kind of the thing I've started liking about quick decks now that I'm using Ushi Goes on a lot. Uh, the appeal of a of a quick deck over like a Buster quick deck is you have more opportunities to like spam your NP. Like you, well, you you're more likely to get quick, quick cards. cards. Oh yeah, but like servants with quick cards these days have good quick cards. Yeah. And just Dude, the fact a, that she's well, the sorry. fact that you can dump a bunch of buffs onto most of your deck like that, like uh, quick buffs in particular. Uh, that means your gain gets boosted a lot, and that means you can spam really nicely. Medusa's not demonic? That is actually so true. Why is she not demonic? She doesn't buff herself with, with that skill. It's only 30% crit, but come on. Come the fuck on, bro. Uh, and also, Takeru. The only reason Takeru's not in EX is because Mist doesn't know his kit. Like, do, do you remember when, when he did this list? It was his first time seeing his kit. And then, oh, like, yeah. the, the guy who saw his kit for the first time denied my ranking. So, sure, you know, yeah. sure, sure, dude. <laughs> I, well, I'm, look, I, I'm, I'm, just, I, I'm not that I'm, salty, but, like, come on. I'm at least glad that uh, he's ranked higher than Muramasa. Like, come on, bro. Like, what? why are you, why, why are you denying my opinion if you're not that sure about it, man? Like, why? I understand he has some weaknesses on, on his kit, like the MP damage up. I don't know why it's well, fucking one turn, but like, come on. So, question. Do you think that Charlie belongs in EX now? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Let's so. segue into his buff yeah. right now. So, uh, see, uh... Give me a second here. Damn. Uh, so Charlie and... And Bradamante got buffs recently. It was like... Uh, come on. Uh, my browser doesn't remember going to her page. Remembers Charlie though. Um, so we had a uh, we had some uh, pretty negative opinions, I would say, of these two servants in the past. Uh, I did for sure. Oh, what what the fuck are you doing, OBS? Just automatically select some other layer when I want to move this one. I mean, it's just about. Also, like, I look. I don't want to sour our relationship while you, you know, sort that out. I, I'm not. We're not trying to sour our relationship with Mist or his fan. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't get me wrong, guys. Like, I'm I'm very like, critical of my friends. Okay, those like I consider the, my friends. Like the the only like like if we didn't like it, we would have just not gone onto the stream. Right, like I, I, I don't really yeah. get that much out of it either, anyways. So like yeah, I, yeah. If, if if I didn't like it, I would have just not gone onto the stream. But you know, I still almost always show up because it's it's general it's genuinely fun. There's just a couple of things that, you know, may, I I I was I felt a little bit like yeah. maybe it could have been better, better but yeah, it is. Yeah, and also to be fair, when I say that I don't have faith in his practical experience, I I don't mean like okay he sucks at the game or something he's he's definitely better at the game than most of, like like the average joe like 
uh, the way he talks about things, uh, a lot of things at least, I do feel like he has better game sense than a lot of people. So don't get me wrong, I, I guess I was being a bit hyperbolic because there are a lot of people, even content creators that I feel are very lacking in the gameplay department. Uh, it, it's just, he, and like, it, it's not really, it, it, it's not his fault because like, uh, I mean, if you're going to live off of YouTube, you go where the content is basically. But uh, a lot of people just don't make gameplay content and it's hard to prove that, it's hard to factually prove that you know what you're talking about if you don't put it into practice where people can see it, basically. Uh, we even missed one at Medusa and that's EX. That's how I justify oh, my fuck. ego. <laughs> All right, that's probably my fault. But I, I don't think they're Bro. a full tier. I don't think they're a full tier apart. I don't think she, she and Medusa is a full tier apart, though. Like, I, I don't. I don't think they're a full tier apart. I don't think she and Okita are a full tier apart. They are... Okay. So, so Charlie, uh, I I didn't have that great of an impression of him for a while, because I I sort of like the way I looked at it, it he was like a side grade of uh, of Okita Alter when farming at least, because his he has like a bunch of janky things in his kit. Um, because what he used to have, he used to have the skill, it's targetable in Vuln. If he targets himself, he NP seals himself. But if he targets someone else, he he gets this buff where if he takes hits uh, for the next five turns, he will get a buff that increases his NP damage. Uh, also, the... Uh, the in Wait, isn't the NP generation independent of the other... I thought that's what it was. Uh it right. says it says that right there uh i don't know maybe it just has it listed in an odd order um but i, I just thought he was kind of awkward because he also has like three niches and they're in weird <laughs> different areas like he has special attack against demonic he has special defense against divinity and he has crit damage versus evil so like fuck shooting i guess uh but they boosted like they they fixed his first skill and so they didn't remove the initial effect which is NP seal yourself if you use it on yourself but they added this cool thing where if he crits then he gets one of those buffs so so now you don't have to put yourself in danger and then get attacked while you were vulnerable uh, to do that oh, wait, oh I thought on. okay I oh, finally yeah, know it, what it, you mean. Yeah, it, it's after the buff. Yeah, I see what it is. Um, I finally know what I mean. So he he doesn't get the MP gain up if you put it on himself. Well, he actually yeah. does now. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, if self has, uh, yeah, he he increases in P generation. Wait. No, he no he doesn't. I, I, okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe he, not. He, I, I, I could have sworn he, he did though. He he doesn't because I'm looking at my solo and he doesn't. Okay. All right. Well, I think he doesn't, right? Let me let me. Okay. I yeah he doesn't. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He okay. he, he doesn't, which is dumb. By Thank the way, like it's really dumb. Thank you for going out of your way to actually like confirm it. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, so that is not the case, but what he does, he gets this buff on attack thing. Uh, he, he crits, he does more MP damage for the next five turns, by the way. So, uh, this is a six turn cooldown skill. For five turns, you have that option. So, it has really good uptime. Uh, there's one turn where you can't ramp up your skills. So, it, it's very similar. It's like something between Bunyan's gimmick and Romulus's gimmick. Uh, because Romulus, he has to crit. Uh, but his is a debuff against one enemy, but it scales 20% per instead of 10% per. And then Bunyan's, you don't have to crit, uh, and it's not tied to a skill, because uh, so it's up like all of the time. And you also get it from being attacked, 
but it's 5% uh, per stack instead of 10% per stack. So he's like right in between there, uh, and, but he still has to crit to do it. And he still has the debuff thing where he, he gets NP sealed, but he also gets stars regardless. Yeah. Um, wait, question. Does he still get the stars if he targets himself? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, so something easily missed here that I, I found so. out from practice, which I think is honestly a huge... Hold on, I, I, I need to double check it. Because, she, because okay, when I'm soloing, he always has 99 stars, so I literally cannot tell. Hold on, let me, let me look at the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... So, like, uh, yeah, they, they have to put this in different order, then. Like, they have to say that this isn't luck by that. But something he cool does, about okay, this is, even if he targets himself, he gets this on attack buff still. So... Yeah, that's the important part, yeah. Yeah, so he's still, like, this is going to be more reliable than being attacked. So, that, that's great. <laughs> like Yeah, he gets the star, he, he isn't penalized as much from uh, being more selfish. Uh, and I, I really do like that. I think that's a really fun mechanic. Uh, and the way it applies, yeah, it's plus 10% damage per, uh, yeah, each time. Yeah. So it's, uh, you get a maximum of 120% NP damage. And by NP damage, I mean, uh, it's like, it, it's, it's just anti trait. It's basically anti yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's super effective damage, basically. Yeah, it uh, it does not stack with any other type of modifiers. So it, great buff. He's so much fun. I actually have him ten ten six now because I actually want to use him, uh, which it it makes me kind of sad because I got him NP five and I was sort of chomping a copy every now and then when I needed. Uh, rare prisms, because yeah, like, I, I didn't really care for him. I already had NP2, Okuda Alter, and I saw no reason to use him over her. Damn, but, bro. But he's NP2 currently, so he's on par with her. Uh, as I guess as it's better for testing, but damn, damage. bro. Oh, yeah. Also, this, uh, this, this buff kind of affects him in farming, by the way, because like on Wave 3, if you get any cards, you can just card card and then np and, and, and i mean it's only 20 percent more damage but like hey man i feel worse so not I getting him I for mean, rp rio it's fine i am not a whale i'm not the same level of whale as you i didn't have 400 rare prisms at that time all right but i, I had like that may, that, 10 <laughs> but, but, but then i feel like that that means you should even do it less to, to burn ssr i don't know well, I, guess this well, I mean, I really wanted stuff in the rare prism shop. Yeah. That I makes mean, it worse? Dude, dude, why should, what, what, why should I hold on RP? to a servant that I didn't think was that good? Like, I, I was going to keep him in B2. Like, do you need what? more than in B2 uh, on, a, on a servant, like, if you're not going to be using them, like, ever? I mean, I guess you're right. Like what, what? What's yeah, uh? What, really. what, what, what was the thing in the shop that you really wanted? Uh, I, I think that was back when faux paws and gold foes oh. were, oh, were a lot no. less accessible. But now they're super accessible. So yeah, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> He's dead. It's so funny. Um, but <laughs> it might have been lores as well, because I did have a while where I was like always dead on lores. I am and... still always dead on lores, but yeah, I mean. Char Char Charlie's buff is just really good. Uh, yeah. I, I I think I think it is so like it's it's so much sustained damage. Like you, you crit once, you get five turns worth of ten percent SE, which is multiplicative to all other buff types, which is very good. It's important the more buffs you put onto a character, um, it will stack a lot better. And it's not like he's gonna have trouble critting. Would he have trouble critting? After one MP, he gets like when I'm soloing with 36 him. 36 hits. And, yeah, when I'm soloing with him and I use his MP on like two enemies, I get like 48 stars. Right, so like 
why would I ever like, with a brave chain of course? Like, what, what, why, why would I? Need, and especially with a uh, like quick chain buffs now, don't you get twenty stars from a quick chain? Like, this is yeah. still way overkill. Like, his and star then, gen is still way over. And then he has fifteen stars on his first skill, which is really funny. Yeah, it's it's really funny and a little bit unfortunate that his like ultra high hit count MP would have been great for solos because um even without external help he generates so many stars and now he can actually solo i'm not saying he's a great soloer but like he's not completely horrible i mean i don't think he's completely horrible either like when he first came out i still soloed like dolmon and something with him like the first skill is not a horrible survival skill two time three turn invul six turn cooldown it's kind of standard but like right now you can you can get that se with even when he's solo which is huge like it, it bolsters his, his damage so much especially because you can brave chain every turn so you're getting two every turn like at two to three every turn which is a lot right so so yeah i i i think this buff is amazing and of course you don't have to rely on him getting hit anymore um uh, and he can i just got jump scared by kali what i'm opening Why, my valentine's oh you're still <laughs> bro yeah, dude, uh, I, I need to do them. Think they expire tomorrow, and I, and I, I genuinely forgot to with an A. So, damn. Yeah, so so like I mean, it's Reco. People really wanted a support that uses overflow stars. It's a little bit scary for this character if they are able to actually use overflow stars. This character is gonna holy shit. Like, if there's a support that utilizes overflow stars, like stars that is over 50, because, like, you only need 50 stars to guarantee your entire hand to crit. If there's a support that has a support effect that scales with how many stars that you ha that you generate over 50... Ugh, spooky. This character is going to be really fucking scary uh, if that happens, so... Bro, we got a support that does something with overflow stars. Her well, name Kukukon? is Cuckoo. <laughs> God, I knew it. I knew... I... I... If we get a support that uh, benefits from overflow yeah, stars, I'll put dude, Medusa Saber in the X. Dude, 20... Uh, you, you get, like, 20% attack for the team. You get crit resist for the team. And then you got a, a targetable evade in 50% battery. Look, sure it's, it's... Look, Danween, just because Medusa Saber soloed Gatia as a knight class doesn't mean she's EX. Do you know how much I have to save scum for that stun to land? <laughs> Actually, I lied. I saved scum like once. And then she stunned him like six times. <laughs> Bro, is pretty much okay? She's, she's having a nervous fucking breakdown. <laughs> Wait, who? Britta Mart. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she she saw Bradamante's buff, which we can segue into. Oh yeah, yeah, Bradamante, there she is. Hello. Um, saw Bradamante. So, so Bradamante is very meh. Like she, her competition may not have been that stiff, but like, I mean, Parvati was still better at the things. Like they had a lot of. Of overlap, even as uh, even outside of being AOE quick lancers, but uh, they they changed her. So like they gave her a third skill buff last year. It was nice. Uh, it was the NP damage, uh, not NP damage, NP battery. gain, uh, and then and increases it increases the battery to thirty percent, and then also thirty percent anti earth, which. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really feel when I farm with her because I do actually. I have tried farming with her at times. Yeah, she's kind of the 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 earth, the anti earth is kind of tiny, unfortunately. Um, but pretty much her problem was she had thirty percent quick, and she had a twenty percent NP damage buff on her NP, so she did no damage. Uh, and she also has a fairly low attack stat, but they buffed her NP. So now she gets a crit buff every time she NPs, and like even though she doesn't have a deck that fits critting that much, it's still pretty nice. Uh, so it's it means like if you spam this a bit, like sixty percent crit on a five star that is pretty notable. Uh, still sixty percent chance of stunning. You still got the crit rate down. 
uh, but like what really matters here is the increased modifier. So she she's a free NP2 now instead of an NP1. So uh, it makes her better at farming. It means her damage just in general is better because her cards are better because her NP increases the damage on her cards. Um, so I, I think she's really solid right now. Yeah, um, so my hot take is I think she's better than Brittle Mart right now. I know Brittle Mart still has all the things that she wanted. Brittle Mart has the hard survival that's better than the guts. Brittle Mart has better gain. Brittle Mart has invul pierce. Brittle Mart has a better deck for critting. Brittle Mart has... Did I say better gains already? Yeah. I did. Brittle Mart has buff, a debuff immune. Right, like, like she, she has a lot of anti CQ gimmick stuff, like anti gimmick stuff, um, and and like she does have an anti trait that is worse than anti Earth, of course, but it's also a lot better in terms of the number. Uh, it, it, it is SE, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, like the writing is P mod, and the writer is SE, so yeah. she can almost like double up. She's as a, she's assassin. basically a, a berserker when she uh, is up against writers. So yeah, it's so it's weird. actually it's actually pretty nice, but MP upgrades are so valuable, especially if you're not MP five. Like MP upgrades are so valuable that. And also the uh, added effect is crit ramp up. So even though Bradamante has a worse deck for critting, if you're not specifically using Summer Scotty, I think the 30% crit ramp up does allow her to catch up. Yeah, because so, we're looking at crit damage here. She's got 30% and then 30% card. So yeah, it yeah. does add up. Yeah, like, like I don't know. I, I, I think Bradamante because of the MP upgrade, like better MP damage is is what most people are looking for these days. Um, yeah, out, like be it farming, of course, farming, uh, but also like in CQs in general for like damage. MP upgrade is just more consistently high damage instead of, you know, having better crit potential and whatnot. So I actually do believe Bradamante post buff is now better. Uh, just general use though because like I don't think she's a great like anti-earth servant it's kind of like Vitra like how many of you remember Vitra being an anti-divine servant I'm pretty sure you probably forgot yeah. that she's an anti-divine yeah, that's servant. that's that's as much as Brito uh, or not Brito uh, Bradamante being an anti-earth servant honestly it's 30 yeah I'm pretty sure they're both 30 yeah so it, it it's just like nothing you thought she see it, it doesn't matter like she was anti koyan dark because she was animal trait like that like she was demonic beast trait rather so, but but like she she isn't really she anti koyan beast i should say but like like she, she wasn't really anti demonic like koyan beast is demonic too but like like the the, the 30 percent is really small especially when you add on stuff like bg because p mods are additive to bg and like so 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 it's it's not huge especially on the mp damage part p mods are not as big as you know other stuff uh, not as big as, as big as i see <laughs> so like so so like 30 percent is just eh it's really mad especially if you're like doing like plug oberon with black grail like it, it's barely anything because it, it's basically mp damage up that doesn't get doubled by oberon skill three so it, it feels really puny uh, compared to compared to like Aresh, for example, like Aresh, because Aresh's anti Earth is fifty percent and it's SE, so it's gonna feel a lot bigger than than Bronamonte's uh, anti Earth. I'm not saying whose damage is actually better if you do like a looping comp because I don't know which one is better. It depends on um, your comp, of course. But uh, yeah, but on the flip side, Bronamonte just has better like general damage. Like if, even if you don't care about the anti Earth, it's still good damage just because the MP upgrade. And like the MP damage up on her MP is pretty nice, uh, you know. Yeah. It's just, yeah. So when chat does bring up a good point, why is Karna A when Napoleon is B plus? They're very, very similar. <laughs> like they both have um, anti divine. They both have skills that are not really that great, except one of them. Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. I guess it's because. Karna, it's better for critting, 
I guess. But then, like, I mean, they both make a lot of stars really often. That, that's why I said they don't cross compare lists. Yeah, but like, what's the? I don't know. What's the? Point Karna point? has Buster down. Yeah. Right on MP, it ramps up. I think. Yeah, but. Yeah, there you go. Napoleon That's it. Napoleon has ignore defense and ignore invuln. Yeah, but like what if they don't have invul okay I'm stupid. I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm 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 reaching. I'm trying to yeah, well, I'm trying to think. Well if they don't have invuln then he can use black rail or something, allegedly. What? Only level twenty black rail though. But yeah. Uh yeah, I mean yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Like, I have no answer for that, to be honest. Yeah. I, I don't even remember what we said during that tier list. I wasn't even on the list with Karna, so I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, one one more thing. I, I, I wanted... I, I was going to start to mention it. Uh... Uh, but then we got sidetracked, and then another tangent and another tangent. Uh, okay. Actually, let me resize this again. It's going back to uh, the spreadsheet, uh, the crit sheet. Uh, so, like, one of the big problems with it, I think, uh, that it really, uh, like, Muramasa is a really good example of this. So, it assumes an average between your niches. So, like, your niche damage okay. versus your non-niche damage. And what? with Muramasa, that's especially wrong because, like... Oh, he's like, counting if enemy has invul. Yeah, it's counting if you're against invulnerability. And in a vacuum, that's not bad. But the fact is, we're counting this number here. Which is an average of all of those. You cannot average this, yeah, you, dude. You, you, like... You can't average them because, like, it's not, like, a 33% chance of them having one or the other or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I do think, you know, averaging numbers is the easiest way to remove information from data set. Because you, lo you lose the original data. Like, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. So, you, like, I, I, I think you should never look at the average number. Cause like, God, I wish I knew what the fuck this sheet was on the saber tier list because, uh, because this really makes him misleading. Uh, it looks so misleading because you're like, oh my God, he's got 945,000 on this one here. Well, that's because you're up against a king that has invuln. Like, how often is that going to be the case when you use his second skill? Uh, then you go down and then like, this is more like normal. Yeah, it should at least be weighed, but like. It's also difficult to like weigh how how often info happens. So like it, it it's just it, Wait, it's it's, it's even, just a bad idea. It's bro, just it's like e bad it's at even statistics. worse. It's even worse. We're up against a lancer king that has invuln. Like I'm 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 pretty sure this is all like counter class damage. Cuz I, I I don't know, I don't really see but some it, of these. It, it, is this three cards like for for mighty? Uh, I think Mighty Chains are included. Uh, it was kind of hard to tell because... No, but 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 wh wh why are you using Castoria Go for her bust for his Buster Crit? Why aren't you using Double Go? Well, Wouldn't that be more if you use his Buster well, Crit? Well, the, the thing is, uh, all of these are accounted for. No, just... Double Go is not. Well, yeah, they all have a Double Go. Uh, well, because, like... You're not gonna use double go on him unless you want him to do you a lot do. of crit damage, which is what this is, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you do sometimes. You you, you can't just see th this is another problem with look, assumptions. Look, shut up! Like, uh, shut up! Johanna is a good arts crit support. Yo, dude, bro. Yo mama. Po Pope Yo Mama is like, bruh. I I have her MP6, but like, damn, bro. I mean, she's not bad. I I think as an AOE arts DPS, she's actually one of those. AOE arts loopers that plays well into the arts archetype. Like she helps her entire team gets MP back. Yeah. But like she's like Benny Emma, you know? Like she has a very supportive skill set, but like her MP is double anti-trade. 
It's slightly better than Benny Emma's though. Benny Emma's like 240% P mods for some reason. I think Johanna is a uh, 1 SE 1 150% P mod, which is like a normal person. So I, I don't know what's what, what's up with Benny Emma, but uh, I, I think. Oh no, Pope hers Joan isn't. Is, uh, hers isn't 50% 50%. Uh, Benny Emma's oh, it's 30, is 40. 50. It's 40% 40%. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Benny Emma's 240% P mods. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, Yo Johanna's uh, 150 that, SE and 50% P mod, I think. Yeah. I, I think. I th yeah. I, I, dude, I even have a, I have her MP6. I don't even remember. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I have used her for a couple of min turns as an AoE arts DPS, but other than that, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is another Jeez. good example of it. Uh, we got Proto Arthur here. He's got an average of 385,000. Meanwhile, None of his averages without super large are 385,000. The highest would be 372,000. So this is very wrong too. <laughs> Man. Like you, you can't average the oh numbers. My God, like so you many. you really cannot average the numbers in this kind of stuff because there's a danger of losing information. Like I, I, I I'm I'm like a broken record, but like when you average stuff, all like all you can know is the total amount of crit damage that he does in six different scenarios because you can only multiply that number by six i know there's original data in the back but like nobody looks at that like wh whenever he pulls out the this list they he doesn't look like uh, he does look at it sometimes he doesn't really go deep into it so like yeah, like I, I i think looking at average is just not that fair in yeah, general i, it, it's I don't just... know how much of a math nerd he was so I don't know how applicable it is. Well, he's a streamer, though, so obviously he's not going for skill labor. Is what? streaming what hard? What do you mean skill labor? I, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's just like, like I, I have a feeling he wasn't a stats nerd. Uh, so, like, shit, man. I'm a math I, nerd, and I didn't realize this until today, so. You might, yeah, this is fucking, I don't know what the fuck this is. Like, it, it's, it's you, you, you can't do that, bro. Yeah. Like, you, 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 you cannot average. You'd never... If you can avoid doing that, like, like you have to be very careful, rather, before you average. Like, it, it's just... Because, like, like the average of what? Like, the average of six numbers under... Like, how, how can I'm, how can you average non-trade versus with trade? Do, do, does he do that for MP? MP damage as well? Um... Hold on, actually, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. If he does that for sure. MP damage, like... Shahrazadi is popping off with that anti-king with 200% SE when it never happens. Are there no archers with that? Oh. Um. Yeah, uh, sky attribute. Okay, so no, it doesn't. Which is weird because th he does have a set that that follow with NP damage. Oh, yeah, that, that reminds me. Uh, I'm not sure why he has the Foreigner one up, but I was looking at the Foreigner one. Uh, it's obvious who would end up being at the top of this list, uh, which would be Van Gogh. Cool, cool, huh? Oh, oh, crit, crit. Um, yeah. And I, I noticed something kind of odd. So look at this. So you see Art's Quick Buster. You got 135... Uh, sorry, uh, remember these numbers. 136, 259, 237. Okay. Uh, go all the way over to NP QB. Uh, we got 0, 259, 237. Is it okay. just not including her NP? Her NP doesn't do damage, I guess. I, <laughs> well, it, increase, it increases the card damage, though. Wait, the, the, wait, wait, wait. It's different numbers, though, huh? 259, 237? Did you not... Oh, it's the same number. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Like, wh why? <laughs> why does wait, he wait, include wait, that? Wait, wait, wait. Yo, hold, 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 hold on. Objection. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's just uh, I don't know. There's there's a lot of things that are not accounted for on this spreadsheet. Uh, so like you gotta gotta treat it with a grain of salt. Um, and Korean Dark. Korean Dark. Yeah. I'm Korean glad dark to see she. Though. I'm glad to see she's over here. 
even though it's like, dude, half of the numbers are counting wild beast. Why? <laughs> <laughs> What's our pass on what? Twenty percent? Yeah, yeah, it's like twenty percent. Why, why are you asking me? You have a one twenty, bro. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It it just it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Cuckoo has threat to you. Oh wait, it's special attack. Yeah. Oh it's... yeah, threat to humanity. Yeah, it's P mod. You know what that means? That means. Damn! Look at that puny ass number. That means that Cuckoo is lower than Mixa. <laughs> No, the reason why Mixa here is here, it, it's so dumb that she is here, because she really, it, it, her, her, her crits aren't really that good. It's just she has 100% anti-mechanical. Okay, 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 question, question. Why is there no double go for Cuckoo? I think there should be a double go category for Cuckoo. Well, yes, she doesn't have existence outside the domain, but under certain situations, double go is still the optimal answer, actually, for well, her. I would have... Uh, I don't know. I, I would assume that since it makes more sense for existence outside the domain, because it, I guess if you think yes, about it, it but would like, be... do you know what doesn't make sense though? One yeah, witch. This list. One witch. What is one witch? One witch doesn't do shit. Well, it's one turn damage. To be fair. Oh, it, oh, oh. Yeah, one oh. witch with like Merlin. I, I, that, that makes sense. Then, then where's Summer Scotty? I don't know. Yeah, where the Taking fuck the is Summer Scotty? You do use Summer Scotty for sure with Buster. If if it's not oh, like if you don't care about okay. cooldown reduction. Actually, actually, now that I think of it, it, it makes sense to not bring that up if you're if you're counting Merlin because uh, she basically oh, has the same oh. modifiers for a Buster oh, car that oh, Merlin sure. does, except he has more. He has fifty percent Buster instead of fifteen. Then you uh, shouldn't that include being Vish. said. They still have. You should just double Merlin. Why is it? Why? Why is it one bitch? Why is it not double Merlin? Double Merlin's more for sure. I don't know. That's a good question. Like, like <laughs> th there's no logic. Like one bitch just doesn't work half the time. Like one bitch only works in Wait, like. Yeah, that 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 makes so much sense, dude. Why wouldn't it? Like she yeah, like it, she affects only Buster crits. Yeah. Whereas Merlin affect, affects all crits. Yeah. So, what? W <laughs> yeah. One witch is only used in like, for example, the uh, the Valentine CQ. Uh, I did a frontline only with Koyan. Everybody knows at this point because I'm like bitching about it. Uh, it's one witch with Van Gogh, because that fight is six turns. Its min turn is six, so one witch actually does work. And I also did one witch plus Atlas, so it's actually still minus four cooldown. But like, it 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 uh, it it works because it's a longer fight. Right, like like one witch under this kind of uh, uh, context doesn't really make sense because it's just bad. Like, why wouldn't you you bring like double Merlin, like like you said, or like even Merlin Summer Scotty? I don't know. Like, I, I I'm not sure which damage is higher actually, because like you know, less Buster up versus more crit up depends on how you stack the buffs with other people. One could be higher than the other. Like one witch could be higher than Summer Scotty. Depends on your setup. But like, why why one witch? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know, man. Why even double witch? If it's one turn, double witch doesn't doesn't do anything. It, it, if this is one turn crits, double witch doesn't do anything. The thing that makes Cuckoo so strong. Now, I'm actually defending Cuckoo here. Why this? Why is Cuckoo's damage so low? Because she doesn't get to recast her skills. The most broken part about her is she recasts her skills. Like in a lot of min turns, people. Not just double witch, they double witch and then summer Ibuki because that's minus five, so she can immediately use the attack up twice, right? So, so like that, that is why Cuckoo's good. Cuckoo's good because you can her own steroids are so good that it's better than a support, so you want to reuse her, 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 her steroids again. So, this is uh, this is actually unfairly judging Cuckoo Khan, which is really funny because. If you're looking at a looping t looping damage sheet, it is going to be really unfair for Koyan Dark because she cannot recast her second skill. Yeah, there you go. That 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 that's my TED talk on Buster Foreigner crit damage. Yeah. Are you still there? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still there. I'm looking at something on Discord. 
but yeah, like like uh, Cuckoo, Cuckoo Cuckoo's actually unfairly judged here. Uh, unfortunately, w which is th this is this is a disservice for her. It, like like for sure, I will remember to bring this up when uh, when Foreigner happens, which would would be funny content because ah, uh, plushie defending Cuckoo. But, like it, it it is real. This is really disservice to to Cuckoo. Um, but like this also does show how powerful uh koi and dark's crits are because like once again koi and dark's crits is not just because she has eotd but because like her mp is an attack up and then a buster down so both of those actually goes into her her buster crit damage other than her own like steroids so like yeah yeah sorry i'm sorry i i'm I I need no, to not fun. jump into something. Uh, someone was uh, talking about True Sisters versus uh, Near Bride on NP Gain. Oh, Bride! I thought it was always going to be this scary because there's both two people. What? Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Well, someone brought up the NP upgrade from Bride, so uh. I don't know. You know, the 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 most conversational people in there. Uh, making points that's all it is yeah coin and dark's nice crits are it. good of course it it is reliant on your roster though because like coin and dark is very much like coin dark's uh synergy with van gogh is almost immaculate like coin and dark has spread charge overcharge both things van gogh really want but there's another thing coin and dark can curse the enemies so it actually it's more charge for van gogh if you don't use the absorb immediately. So yeah. there's a lot of synergy between Koi and Dark and Van Gogh. Like th th there's more than just EOTD. There's there's so many synergies between them that is really good. So and Koi and Dark has Invo Pierce on cards. So it's also more convenient. Like like it, it, it's it's better for a servant like her than if it's tied to an MP because she doesn't have to use her MP to get the Pierce. So for for a crit based servant, the, the pierce is good. Like I mean, we've all seen Super Ran. Obviously, Super Ran has infinite pierce essentially, so it's better. But like, you know, having three turn pierce on a skill is nice. But... Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a weird shape. But yeah, Charlie got a good buff. Uh, the, <laughs> I almost said Britomart did because I have her page open still. <laughs> Bradamante got a good buff. Uh. I do kind of want to buff on Britta Mart now, because, like, I think she has a better kit. It's just her numbers are smaller now. Damn, when, when have we when have I seen that before? Uh, Vlad. Bro. <laughs> Vlad and Galatea. When when the fuck have we seen that? This is yeah, literally it, the exact same story. Okay, but to be fair, uh, Brad Monza has a better kit than Vlad. <laughs> uh... Yes, 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 definitely yes. Uh, okay, like, uh, fine. Okay. But like, so I mean, he, he has defense, he has guts, he has attack, uh, and like, okay, he has stone. the MP game. And arts resist. Okay, stone. I I, I but, know stars on MP is you already are good against that, so I'm not gonna bring yeah, that up. Okay, but she has potential stun. She has her own guts. Uh, with debatably better uptime. I don't know. She also has a defense buff on that guts. So those are two of the things he has. Uh, she has a debuff cleanse, a targetable battery instead of a uh, instead of just a normal battery, uh, and then the NP gain as well. Uh, she has a niche that she does more damage against, and she can ramp her crit while making stars instead of just making stars and not being able to use them because Berserker absorb. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, her card gains aren't complete booty cheeks. It's an yeah. ironic term to use with uh, Bradamante. Does Bradamart becomes better with an MP upgrade? Yes. I mean, basically <laughs> I, everyone I, does. So. Yeah. It, no, I, I I assume he means better than Bradamante. Yes. Oh. It, 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 if she gets an MP upgrade, I think she is pretty firmly better. Because like, because like Bradamart has all the things that Bradamante doesn't have. Diva immunity. You know, I think Bradamante has a cleanse, but like a Diva immunity. Uh, you know, better refund. Br Brittle Mart has quite a bit better refund than Bradamante. Uh, and it had, you know, uh, Imbol Pierce on MP. Like, she, her kit just does a lot more. Like, if her MP up, if she gets an MP upgrade with, like, 
even with a very lame added bonus effect that is not as good as a 30% crit ramp up, I think she'd still be better. Probably, in my opinion. This loop like, in the like, spreadsheet, like I don't know if they've accounted for her buff yet. Because it, she has before buff and after buff setups here. Oh, but but, but she has a battery buff. No, yeah. the setup shouldn't change if it's before or after uh, for the MP upgrade. So maybe it doesn't. I don't. I know. mean, the the before buff says super scope. So and like, there's not really yeah. a th yeah. Like even with her, even with that uh, that battery, like, she wasn't a super scope. There was like no setup where she needed super scope. Her refund is considerably worse than uh, Brittle Mart, at least with triple Scotty. I think, Scotty. I I think it's like whatever. But it, 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 I think I said it the wrong way. What I meant was uh... like she, uh, she had to either use super scope or or a sixty percent CE. I guess no, no. I don't think she had the refund before her, before yeah. that to not use the battery. I see, I see. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just, uh... Yeah. Struggling to think of what to upload today. Man, I wanted to upload something super lazy, which is a super cut of the Super Recollection quest for Lost Belt 1, which is just, like, re-editing videos that I already did, but I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't do all of it with Koi and Dark, so I kind of don't want to. Like, if there's a Lost Belt that I did it with Koi and Dark on every one of them, I might do that. I have I yet I to do those recollection quests. On uh, NA? Yeah, the NA ones. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, did them on GP, pretty, yeah. But. Yeah, I already did them, so it's kind of boring. Well, I mean, I, I just have yet to do them in general. Uh, it's just teapots, really. I, but I, I still do want to go back and do those quests. Uh, a matter of, like, what do I want to do with those? It's like I don't think I have grilled riders, so I'm, and I feel like Anastasia. Uh, excuse me, Anastasia seems like uh, one of the most interesting ones there. Hmm. Yeah, it, it is certainly the the most challenging because like the Stereos one is mo 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 more like a damage test, which is still very satisfying. Like, like even though I, I say it's the most boring one, it's the one that I like. I tested on the most because I like damage testing. So hey, the stairs one is the most look, fun. Look, look who I just got. It's her. It's it's Bro. the it's the mascot. It's the servant that is better at soloing than Miu. Segway again. Okay, I don't oh. know. I don't know where we're gonna do that actually. Yeah. Yeah, during it has it's I had context because that, that is completely out of nowhere. So uh something that I brought up while we were talking about Miu on the tier list yesterday was she has really good solo potential. And Plushy was like, okay, is it better than than Bob? And was it did Mist say was it Mist that said like we should make it a competition between the two? Yes. Yes, because uh, we did it last time, so he, he was just suggesting yeah, we do it again. I, I don't know how to. Like, I mean, first off, I don't have Mew at all. So I'd need to... Uh, so I would have Rio. to set him up with some... Oh. Rio. How, how big is her Mew? I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's in P5. Not because, like, he likes her or anything, but just because he in P5 is all sorts of shit. But I do... No, know... no, no, no. He, he, he grailed her. He did? He... Yes, I thought he, he hates fully, her. Yes, he fully regretted it, but he grilled her. Oh fuck, man! I forgot that. Like he yeah. successfully made me block that out of my memory. Uh, he should be proud of that. <laughs> yeah, he 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 did grill her, but I don't think it's one. Uh, it's it's definitely not one twenty. It's probably it, it's either ninety or a hundred. I don't remember, but like you, maybe you could borrow his. Uh, I do have a uh, a member of my community who has a really big one. Uh, oh, that's who mind. I mentioned before. I don't uh, know if I, I want don't... to raise another Summer Bob, though, because, like, her materials are fucking horrible. I do have, like, I think I have how many more copies of her like I, I, that I can level up? But, like, I can literally make another MP5 uh, because of Servant Coins. Thanks a lot. Um, oh, I think she's in Second Archive. Hold on. I don't think I burn her, the extra ones, because it's funny. 
This person singing, is it a Liz? Oh, it's Cats. The song the Cats. I have seven more copies, so I can make another. I can make another level 80, but I might not have her skills level max, but I think it's fine. Oh, yeah. It's twice. So, so if you want to do level 80, I can I can do level 80. I can even do it at lower MP level. Like I can match her Miu's MP level. That's actually, that's actually kind of funny. If you have like an MP1 Miu, I can do MP1 Bob. Well, you see, it's the I, high NP levels. That, see, the NP level really does affect Mew a lot more oh, than Bob. Oh, true. Because it's more than true, just, true, true. like, damage that gets upgraded. It's the heal as well. True. The Saber Shiki. That is a servant that I rolled. On the GSSR, yeah. because I don't really don't really care for her. True. I'm like, also, damn, dude, they... Takeuchi really made, like, one of the only characters in a kimono that uh, I don't really care much for. Damn. Bruh. Also, like, just completely unrelated, I'm just trying to find every boss fight that has poison on it. Because of Locusta. <laughs> it's so fun. I think poison heal is such a cool gimmick. Um... Like, someday, if they ever make curse heal... Now become the best counter to Cernunos. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that because you take all you your heal. damage. Yeah, you take all the damage from something else there. You did get drain, yeah. I guess the drain. Because that's like, like 1k per stack versus 500 per stack. Is it 500 damage per per stack? Yeah. So so you're taking 500 per turn. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's still taking 500. Damage. Question. Yeah, the, the, the does, thing... does heal boost affect yes. that? Oh, it yes. does. It does. Huh. It's, yeah, it, it's calculated afterwards. So, like, with, with heal boost CC, it is time 1.5, which is kind of scary. Damn. So I, I, I had her healing for, like, 10,000 per turn at the end of the, the fight against Kamazots, which is... Damn, bro. It... It's funny, like, it, it's, it doesn't happen that often, especially I think Poison is a lot rarer than Curse as a dot gimmick, like, uh, as on enemies. Like, Poison is just not that common. But when it when, when it works, it works, man. It's, <laughs> it's really scary. Um, One of the last ones I got was Ushigozen. Damn, damn. very reluctant. Oh, wait, is there I haven't gotten the Summer Suzuka's either, have I? Oh, <laughs> what, the, and immediately the after that, I get caster shootings. That's funny. Bruh. The is there character. a super recollection quest for Cernunos? No. They didn't have the balls to do it. They even mentioned that during an interview. They were like, we have no idea how we're going to balance that, so we don't know what we're going to do. And they didn't do it. Which is probably for yeah, the best. Uh, some people wanted it to come back, though, just so we could, like, try the normal one again. Yes! During anniversary, why did they super recollect event bosses? Why don't you They're super not even recollect good. some bitches, huh? Well, like no. it, it's like the hardest one was Dagon from uh, Sea Monster Crisis, which oh, yeah. is like uh, it's an oak. They were nothing. Those things were most of them were just not like yeah. anything interesting. He did that. Like, d d do you know what I did for the first two? Of those, I did level one min turns. I did level one Durga min turn on it on 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 Gugalana because like it, it, it's just it's so lame. I did a level one like the, min turn with uh, with Ryder Murasaki on the the slime monster thing. Yeah, it's so, like the it's demon. dude, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. Yeah, it's so dude, bad. Dude, you were on stream with me during that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, because that was. Uh, yeah. That was like the first that. time we collapsed. Actually, the second time we collapsed, I think. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like it, it's so fun. it's so lame. Do Do you know the one Ooh. thing I'm the most upset about? Like not the collab, the the the, the fact that they didn't bring Cernunos back. What's up? Do you Do you know what trait Cernunos is? Divine. Demonic sky. Demonic. Oh yeah, right. Oh dude, I don't know about. Darga would have fucking trample them with like a min turn like i know sernuna's four turns are not that impressive at this point but like bro it was my chance it was her chance like it never came i even started to like briefly write a script for it but i mean 
only a little bit but like but it just didn't happen it didn't mm. happen sky demonic just didn't happen man one of the one of the most difficult bosses in the history of fgo sky demonic didn't, didn't really get a rerun at all shit sucks dude you should make a new account and play it with durga so you can beat that quest yeah, uh, I have it's... to have Durga on the- I can't even borrow! Yeah, exactly. I can't even borrow on that quest, bro. Like, it is horrible. I wanted to try some stuff on it, but I can't. Because I, I'm forced to, like, use Castoria. Which, I mean... Yeah. And... She is designed for that. She is designed around the hardest boss in the game. That's why she's like that. Dude, at the end of the Valentine's event, like, I-, I... I was basically farming exclusively that uh, that node that had the, uh, the, the bloodstones or whatever, whatever it was, the yeah. tearstone gems, and yeah. the only thing that didn't dr drop uh, was silver currency. So I just I, I have everything on bronze and gold. It's just like like I have 3,700 strawberries left over, but I have seven marshmallows. Damn. I think I just farmed the 90 plus plus because I was lazy. I I didn't want to check uh, what what it was. That's like, what, what I did up in, That's what I did until I finished the ladder and then just went down to that and. Uh, mm hmm. And didn't get. Yeah, Ooh, so I'm missing out on CQ these CQ tomorrow. Uh, White day CQ is tomorrow, so oh. I can at least have some content for that. Yeah, I I, I need to do the. The, the white day CQ for NA as well. The, the weird one with the... Mm. Yeah, I'll probably do that after stream. Yeah. Uh, and by after stream, I mean after podcast on stream. Yeah, and pro pro probably soon, because I, I think we're running out of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sort of distracting myself now. I got this fake Columbus guy in front of me. Just... Uh, he's got his beard may or may not be pointing at me. I can't tell. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this game just uh, I am always excited for the CQ. Like there's a goal, at least for me, like every time I try to be the first Koi and Dark to turn it. That that is a there's probably more difficult in this because like I feel like this CQ is going to be designed with uh, the male damage bonus in mind. Because uh, all males get damage bonus, so maybe it's a little bit more difficult with Koi and Dark. Uh, but I mean, I, I guess I can try. What's my like only grilled male servant? It's like Kama, because she counts as male. Oh, have, Stoffel. Nah. I have faith in your ability to turn Kali into a man. <laughs> man, no. Uh, yeah. It, it's it's just Kama. I don't have any one twenties that are male. So. Would be a little bit difficult, probably. I don't know. Depends on the. It could also be the most underwhelming CQ. But like sometimes I don't hate that once in a while, because like the last one, twelve hours. Like I, I'm not sure if I want to go through that again, to be honest. Like it, 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 it was so bad, and at the end it, it even got sniped by someone. Like someone did it first, so I didn't even get onto the leaderboard. So yeah, it's uh. Kind of sad, bro. I just got that watch from Rasputin again. Ooh, like, uh, like I, I can really abuse time travel or whatever the fuck it does. I think I skipped most of it. Oh yeah, here's the. This is so funny. Here's the Charlie, um, Charlie skill description. On, I'm not sure what this. App, I think it's Caldea app, or it's either Alice or it's probably Alice or Caldea app. I don't, I don't know, but like. Look, look at how complicated this is. I DM'd you. It's, uh, like, the, Bro. The, 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 it's like every buff checks. Like, look, look, the MP gain up, it checks whether you have buff invincible. And the, yeah, the, it, it checks, but like the um, the new one doesn't check. It checks critical hit instead. Like, there, there's a bunch of like criteria to to, to whether the, the buff actually applies. This is pretty, pretty funny. It's, it's a lot of checks. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it... NPC will target trait. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if you have buff, buff invincible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
this is the the criteria and the, the <laughs> this yeah. is a very long Damn, skill dude. description overly complicated for sure yeah it's a uh, it's an interesting character now oh my god Santa Nemo go away go away small child I, I don't want you to, I don't want to give you chocolate who can I solo ORT with that is not boring? I mean, he's um, kind of a boring boss, though. You can solo with Passion Lip? Ooh, Passion Lip. I might try that. I mean, his counter class was probably... Maybe I've done it already. I think I went... Like, at one point, I milked it super hard, so I soloed it with, like, every alter ego. And then, like, when level 70 Shufu crapped on it, it's kind of like, okay, I think we, we can stop now. See if uh, you can find, like, a Hyper Herc and see how far you can get against it. Oh, my God. Hyper Herc? Yeah, dude. Ooh. There's surely someone Ooh, out there. A... I know there's a lot of people in JP that like him a lot, so I'm sure you can find yeah. at least one person with the 120. Probably. I was thinking about Summer Bob, but I think she probably gets, like, demolished. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's Pretender. Pretender, foreigner. yeah. Yeah, also, what you gonna do about the buff removal? Oh, wait. Actually, you don't have to go... You don't have to deal it with it that many times, do you? Cause you yeah, drain. I'd probably seal seal a bunch of MP. I could try Summer Bob. I was, like, I, I did try with Hyper Draco, though, and she didn't do it, I think. So it's kind of, ooh. I mean, yeah, she she does prop she does do less damage in hyper herc against this because she doesn't have anti trade, but and what and all that. But it would have it would have been cool to see if, uh, see if hyper herc could have done it during that. You know how, uh, the the fate stay night ticket like increased your damage, didn't it? Oh, yeah, an extra fifty. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Dude, I think someone picked it for Kojiro so he could do a run. Oh yeah, yeah for the, for the Beast Three L. But was it though? Was it during that? I don't think it's during that. I think it was after that. He still pulled it off without the damage bonus. Yeah. I think, which was crazy. Like Kojiro, Kojiro. I think Kojiro was the 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 only one star to do it. To do uh, what other one uh, star would do it? <laughs> full gauge call. I don't know. Uh, Koj Kodoro is the only one star to do full gauge comma. That's insane. Oh, Charlotte Corday? I don't. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, uh, man. Charlotte. Uh, that would be. That really would be incredible, though. Dude, should, should we. Ra <laughs> I'm putting Kodoro in EX. <laughs> He's been turned Feast 3L. Uh, yeah, at 120. But possibly yeah. even with a. Uh, damage bonus that you can only get from wasting a ticket on him of all servants. Like you I get, don't think he used you get that. a. I don't think bro, he used that. I could yeah, be wrong. I don't think yeah, he used dude, that. But the the idea that you you could use this ticket that can get you a free five star and use it to get a free one star that everyone already has. <laughs> I mean, hey, he probably already the... has MP5 Artoria. Uh, so yeah, like... yeah. To be fair, yeah. Yeah, like a lot, a lot of these, uh, they're whales, so like they, they, uh, they, they, yeah, they, they probably already have MP5 or 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 he just doesn't care. I mean, it's like it's like you're Charlie, you don't care about them, so like he probably doesn't care about her. He's like whatever, who cares? I'm not gonna use Artoria uh, ever because she's boring. Yeah, dude. What are we talking about? Not Please. much. We're just talking about how Kojiro min turned full gauge comma. I kind of forgot uh, if he. I don't think he used the damage bonus. Yeah. I saw the run, but I don't know why I don't remember. Shit. I don't think I saw it and I don't though. remember it either. I saw it, I was just like, bro, that's it. That's crazy. Like bro, that's th crazy. Th this this threat is just like sometimes you check and then something crazy is gonna happen. And you're like, oh. Well, I can oh, does Santa Karna do it? Would five. Oh, was it for all of them? Oh, I might be mixing it up with the four-star ticket, because the four-star ticket gave everyone a damage bonus. Dude, you know who I used that four-star ticket on? Hmm. I used it on Queen of Sheba. 
I have her MP5 already. Well, for coins, that makes sense. Yeah, I haven't done anything with the coins, though. She's, like, on the I list, mean, but not yet. I, I, I've had a... I've had a... Uh, what, what's her face? I've had uh, normal Bob's coins ready since uh, last year's tower event. Yeah, and what you waiting uh, on? Uh, I'm waiting for Summer Koyen. Hmm. Or her MP upgrade. If she gets an MP upgrade, sure. Hmm. Got it. Oh shit, there's still... He didn't still have things. it. Oh, he did. He did have it. Wait, no. Why does he have a P mod? On Is a that, passive does he P have mod. versus? Let me see. Oh, yeah. How, how did I not remember? No, he's BG. Uh, Black Grail. It's yeah. uh, it's bold to use Black Grail considering how uh, how a lot of servants can't really NP more than once or twice. Here. Hmm. Holy shit, bro! <laughs> <laughs> the last MP did 1.2 million damage. Yeah, dude. yeah, it's that card resist down, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's the quick down. Yeah, it's it's the quick down. Yep, that's uh, that's, that's it's such a unique uh, modifier, isn't it? Because like, isn't that the only one that doesn't cap? I mean, like, it still caps. No, I, I, like I want to say I it mean, doesn't it, because like I remember seeing someone do some sort of run where they stalled forever and looped a uh, low level Kojiro's second skill and that they put s just like like a hundred uh, quick resist downs on a on some enemy and then had him die and then they had Paris do like a billion damage I thought quick down still capped like like the card type cap uh, quick resist down yeah quick isn't quick res does it not I don't know I, I guess Dang. I guess uh, I, I'm I not to, that see, faithful, and uh, I need to know more about calculation. I mean, the the, the thing with uh, card type buffs is really hard to cap. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, that's I, such I think, a niche situation. Like, I I think the servant that caps it the easiest is Tiamat. Well, uh, that's the, at least that's Buster buffs, isn't it? Yeah, Buster buff, but, but it's, well, it's, it's... But aren't, isn't the debuff cap separate from that? That it should be because like attack buffs don't cap at hundred percent, but defense debuffs do. Yeah, yeah, it should it should be separate. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, maybe the oh fuck, I have to. Oh my god, I'm I'm showing my ignorance again. Damn it. Well, I mean, it's honestly a shock that even I know that because it's such a. It's a random thing, and it's also completely inapplicable unless you do that that thing that I, I mentioned. The the cr the crane koyan light thing. Yep. Like every time crane comes back in, you get two minus two cooldown. That literally take like years. I mean, it, okay, it doesn't yeah, literally that, take that years. That one guy like, though. Uh, that one dude. I need to stop saying that one guy because it's it's a person's name. Uh, do that... you mean Benny? Yeah, Benny. Yeah, the guy Benny with the, the jerker profile picture. I yeah. remember the profile picture better than the name. And he he does cool videos. Like it's thoroughly impractical stuff, but it's very much not generic. Like, I mean, he, I, he switched like, to like like he he made his... Okuda almost crash the game because she cast her first skill so yeah. many times, and like the game I mean, was freezing like... up because of all the attacks. He switched buffs. to like interesting. Oh, sorry. Sorry to cut you off. Well, well, yeah, Okuda was because like she's got the uh, on attack attack buff application thing, and he had her use it like twenty plus times, and uh, the game was freezing because it couldn't apply enough of them. Yeah, he he does like um like w interesting clears. Also, like he has two signature solo servants, which are both pretty based. He he has Leonidas. And Ginako. So he, he solos with Leonidas and Ginako. 
uh, a lot, which is... I, I think if you want to see, like, Jinako solo content, he's probably one of the better sources for it. Um, like, it really shows how ridiculous spammable Invol is. Yeah. Like, on MP. She's... Yeah, and then she also has a targetable Invol for some reason. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah. So, if you don't get your NP, like, you can still NP... You can still have Invol in three turns in a row. And she has an art yeah. stack, and, and genuinely, generally, a, a, an art stack isn't really that great in the solo. But considering how she can't NP art art every turn, like it's actually good because that means she's basically guaranteed an NP every other turn. Uh, it's yeah. just soul crushing to. Well, I, I guess it's not as bad. It's not like Jean solos. She actually has a damaging NP. Yeah, and, and it has defense down. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I think as it ramps up. Bad. Yeah, I, I, I like Jinako kind of underrated. I, I think Jinako is actually one of the better because, like, she she can do both solo DPS and support very well. It's just like as a normal arts looper, she's bad. Um, because you know, bad damage, bad class for it, like always neutral. Um, but like a, as a solo DPS as well as. Dude, it's 30% defense down on all enemies for three turns. It activates first. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, she'd be a pretty uh, strong <laughs> looper if uh, she had good refund. She it's 30% down before damage. That is that is good. That is very good for, for like, so, like solo. Like on the second turn, it's 60%. The second MP is 60% defense down. Like it's before damage. It, 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 it's a lot. It's actually a lot. Um, and and she has like, what, thirty percent MP damage up on five turn cooldown. The third, the involve skill is five turn cooldown. Like if you cl if you clear the skill seal, it's five turn cooldown, right? Like, it's kind of it's kind of insane actually. Like her her solo is kind of insane. Uh, the 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 low downtime on her third skill, uh, as well as the the MP. Being, you know, giving involve, giving heals, giving good defense ramp down. Like, she's really good at solo. She's one of the top solo units, in my opinion. For sure. Um, yeah, like, like better than her other neat friend. I know Osakabe Hime solos are very funny, because, like, you just take zero damage from defense stacking. But, like, yeah. Jinako is definitely a lot easier to pull off, unless they have Invol Pierce. Um, yeah, because, like, if, so, if the enemy has attack buffs, then Okuda, uh, not Okuda, Osakabe Hime is going to see some uh, problems. And yeah, the attack buffs are like, pretty common. Yeah, Jinako is actually pretty wild. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, um, it's been. Uh, yeah, I should go grab dinner. Yeah, it's been over three hours. I, I, this has been a pretty decently long episode, so I, I think it's fair to call mm. it here. So yeah, thank you all so much for sitting here and watching. Uh, be it at YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, of course, remember to subscribe to Plushy. Uh, I'll have a link to Mist's tier list at the end of the video, so if you want to go watch that and see me gamer rage uh, over a, a small anime child, like, yeah, yeah th th that's there. But um, uh, I'll also try and put the links for all of the... Uh, all of the tier, all of the spreadsheets there, because like, like, sure we have some complaints about them, but maybe the viewer really wants to see them for themselves, then uh, you guys can have access to them there. So, and once mm -hmm. again, like, like, for all we said negative about them, we know me, we mean no ill will towards the the people who made them, because like they didn't have to make them. And they were making them to be helpful for other people. So, uh, yeah. Even if the execution is poor, like the the meaning, like the intent behind it was, uh, was very much appreciated. So. Yeah, of course. Like, like nobody's nobody's gonna try to make this stuff to just you know confuse people. Like, like they, they're yeah. not. They, that's not. That's not why why they exist. So like, it, it's just like it, it is a little bit. Uh, annoying sometimes to like have your argument invalidated by it but like at the same time it, it really yeah. isn't and that just comes know, down to issue. like how people are interpreting the list more so than the the list itself but, yeah yeah uh, thanks for watching also and that's gonna be thanks oh. for watching yeah. 
No, I was just gonna. Uh, I didn't answer this guy. What about against Kinchi Huang? I'll, I'll do it after the outro. Oh no, go ahead and do it. You tease the people at home on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't use them either of them that much. I actually use Jinako more than Kinchi Huang. Um, I'd imagine Kinchi Huang's a more offensive version, actually, which is ironic. Like Kinchi Huang has a lot more effective HP because he's ruler. So unless you're fighting against extra class, he's like as as much. As as much HP as Jinako has, Kinchi Wang is double his his base HP essentially okay. if you're in, against normal class. Okay, but but she heals more often. She has an NP heal instead of yeah, the, yeah instead of other like, heals. Yeah, so 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 that that's why earlier I said I think Kinchi Wang's a more offensive version of her, uh, and like because okay, gotcha because his like like f three turn fifty percent attack up. If you're able to ramp that, damn bro, um, it's a lot of crits. Um, but honestly, like, Jinako's MP damage might catch up. Depends on your MP level on Jinako, I guess. It could, it could catch up. So, okay. I, I might say I like Jinako a little bit better. I could be wrong. She's, but she's damn, more I... consistent because you're depending on an MP for your damage instead of, uh, instead of crits. And Chen Shi Huang isn't much of a, much of a crit guy. Like, he doesn't make his own stars very well. So that's what I mean. Yeah, otherwise he'd be scary. He'd be, like, super Orion, but... But better at solos like 100% at mp5 100% crits per mp 50% attack up they're really good anyways that's, what, yeah. that's all we got for today see ya see ya